Hello. Wow. Oh my goodness, there's already 34 people wow. in here. Wow. That is wild. What's up, everybody? This is the first time. Are we late? We're one minute late. No, I, I hit it before it was 801. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yo, what's up, Nicole? Nicole, how's it going? Hi, everybody. Biking Van Man, Bryce, I see you. Sean, what's Sean? up? Oh, it's snap. Good to see you. How are we going? Yeah. Live soon. <laughs> That's awesome. How you guys doing? Sid, what's up, brother? Nice. Oh, hi, everybody. So stoked that everyone has made it. Yeah, it's how's good to see How's everybody's, what Tuesday. is it, Tuesday evening going? You want to tell them where we are and what we're doing? No. Okay, I'll tell them. We're in the middle of the rainiest part of the world. Not the world, maybe, but it's... Uh, in the Amazon jungle. In the Amazon jungle of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's pretty rainy and cold and rainy. Yep. Here in the UP. But we're having a blast. It's really beautiful. If you guys have never been to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, it's gorgeous, even in the rain. Colonel Stott, what's up, brother? Oh, hey, what's up? Sarah Hello, Crosby. <laughs> My wife and I love watching you guys. The kids are finally in bed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hello, Wandering Memphis. Oh, I love seeing all these people I recognize. It's, I feel like I know everybody. It's so nice. I hope you, you all feel Susan Doyle, as friendly with up? us as we feel with you. Oh, Susan Doyle. It's good to see you. Daddy Maddie. Dude, we were in Copper Harbor. Yeah. And we wanted to ride, and it was rainy and mucky. And then we had to move on and we didn't get a ride. We dragged it out too. We kept thinking like, okay, Huge tomorrow bummer. is going to be, it's going to be nice enough to bike. And it just never got nice enough to bike. Oh, it's 95 so. degrees in New Orleans. Wow. Ah. Good hair, good hair day. Thank you. This is not a good hair day. <laughs> it's so humid and rainy here. I'm trying really hard to, to maintain the frizz, but thank you. <laughs> We're not in Houghton. We are in Marquette. Marquette. So tomorrow we're going to ride. We're going to try and ride tomorrow. It's literally been raining all day long. Hey, Nicole. Nicole. What's up? Thank Aww, you for the super chat. Your fam dinner tonight. Have a nice family dinner. I hope it's delicious. When is the beard coming back? Uh, Trent. <laughs> I'm not growing the beard back. I look like a bum. Really? At all? Yeah. Wow. I didn't. Once I know get that. a little beard, I want like all the beard that I could possibly ever grow. And like, it's just a bad situation to be in. It's just zero to Santa Claus. I look like a homeless guy. It's terrible. Yeah. Houston. How's it going in Houston? I bet it's nice and warm in Houston. Yeah. I bet it's hot down there. And New Mexico. Oh, I bet it's dry and sunny and warm in New Mexico right now. That sounds awesome. <laughs> North Central Indiana. Well, hello, right back at you, Amalira. Amalira. 103 um, degrees in Houston today. Ugh. Never mind. Never mind. I'm happy where I am. How? How is it still that hot? <laughs> That's crazy. What's Phoenix? Is anybody from Phoenix in here? Or New Mexico? Yeah. 85 at your college. Nicole, Nicole, where where are you coming in from? She's That's California. California. Nice. Thunderstorm. I like close beards too, Eliza. I agree. I think you can really pull off like the closely trimmed, kind of manicured, manscaped beard. Like a little bit fuller than this. This is hard. Like, shave the neck and like line it up nice. No, it's just easier to get a little bit of scruff and then just shave it off. It's just way easier to keep that mm -hmm. in in circulation than to have like this half beard back to quarter beard thing you got going on maybe i'll grow my beard out this, this winter 68 in salt lake right now trade off oh that sounds nice i think the high here is like 50 or something it's cold it it's been so raining all today. day 98 in phoenix keith has got us oh man it's Wild hotter, it varies hotter so in houston much. huh key west Trent, i'm with oh, you i like Greta. my beard better we're gonna come visit you next in key west that sounds great shiro texas it's like, hi, Ro. <laughs> hi, Ro. Hi, Alan. How are you? Yeah, we do have dinner plans with our whole family in Michigan. Don't you worry. Yeah, we've got, some, we've got a lot of exciting We've got, we've got some plans coming up. in Michigan as we travel down towards Toronto. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I guess you guys know now where we're going. I think that was a surprise. Hey, oh, Nico. I have a trimmer. It's all I use, actually. I don't, I don't use like a razor to shave my face. I hate that. But 
I love your live streams. Thank you. Hi, Shailene. I feel like we should talk a little bit about what's going on in our life, right? We just get caught up in reading the comments and then hey, good mic things work get sidetracked. Thank you, man. What's up from Bethesda, Maryland? Mike Jones. I'm from Bethesda, Mike Maryland. Jones. What's up? What's up? All right, what are we telling them? I don't know. What should we talk about tonight? I don't know what's going on in our lives. Well, we made some really yummy pasta. We might heat that up soon. Make that for dinner. Yeah, we haven't had dinner. I didn't notice that. Oh. Sid. Sid. Come on. With the super chat. Thank you. This is for the no box. <laughs> 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 Explain what that means for people that don't play. Uh, <laughs> chamois are like padded underwear That's that you funny. wear when you go mountain biking or cycling so that your butt has a little extra cushion. It's like a diaper, but it feels great if you're going for a long ride. And I wear underwear underneath mine. No one does that. I just always have. <laughs> And I don't, I don't have any problems with it. And Sid absolutely <laughs> hates that. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, why would you create extra friction? Yeah. There's no point, really. I put my cheap nothingness boxers yeah. underneath the really expensive exactly. padded underwear. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Chafing, I probably, exactly. I should probably chafing. try it without underwear. I've never even tried it. I've never, <laughs> like, gone on a ride without... Oh, you boxers underneath the padded underwear. You don't so. even know. That's hilarious. Friction bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't have. The, I don't know. Do man. you use chamois cream? I don't think you do. No. No. Chamois you just butter. Toughs it out. No chamois butter for me. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh. You're bad. What's your favorite riding area? Um. Yeah, we're in. That's hard. Either I. I think Bellingham. Bellingham was beautiful, but we were just there recently yeah. and they logged a bunch of the trail. So our yeah. favorite trail in Bellingham, the SST, looks completely different than it used to, which actually kind of changes my perception of that area. Just kind of messed some of it up. That trail was so iconic and awesome and it's totally different now. And I haven't but, even ridden on a bike east of the Mississippi. So like there might be some crazy stuff that I've never seen, but I think Squamish uh or whistler was like probably some of the best riding i've ever done yeah whistler was awesome but big it was sky is crazy up. though oh we yeah a lot put of out fun. the video recently of big sky if you guys have seen it then you know what i'm talking about but they have a jump track called ninja marmot and it is insane yeah it is like enormous and then they have a bunch of other like cool flow trails that are really nice big sky is like really stepping up their game they're trying to be like the big uh bike park in america so they're, they're well on their way, my personal opinion. Yeah. I actually did not ride Ninja Marmot. It wasn't a great day riding for me, Susan. No, I didn't ride the little wooden bridge. Those are called skinnies in bike terms. Yeah. I didn't ride the skinny, no. But uh, I fell off Trump's a maniac. twice. He's a machine on a bike. Do we road bike? No, but I don't know if you guys have listened to one of my last live streams. I have this crazy idea of doing a couch to Iron Man that Trent is super against. <laughs> and I you think it would die. be so fun. But uh, maybe we'll road bike if we do that. Nicole, four ninety nine dollars super chat. Oh. Go buy Frank a new toy. Oh, oh, thank you. Frank, you're getting a new toy, dude. You want to come say hi, Frank? Mm -hmm. Come here. Come on. Come on. All come the way. On. He's like asleep. He's so always he's sleeping doing slow. our live streams. Oh. Are you excited? You get a new toy. Say hello. You get a new toy. Yes. What's this? Huh? What's this? What's this up here? Huh? What's this? Do you see these people? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> hi. Hi, everybody. My name's Frank. It's not how he talks. No, it's not his voice. His voice is a New York gangster. We don't know his voice, but we assume that he's a New York gangster. Yes. He's a good guy, though. Thank He's you, doing Nicole. great. Oh, more alley cooking videos, please. Wait till you see the video we got. Road in biking or mountain biking? There is no try. I agree. That's true. Yeah, we should do it. We should do an Iron Man. It would be so. Oh, I think he means try, like no triathlon. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, no cone of shame. That's right. Yeah, Frank no. Stopped licking his foot. We like put a booty on it, and it broke his habit. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but he stopped licking it. It's oh, healing up really nicely. He doesn't like hold it up when he goes in the grass. That's how we first noticed something was wrong is every time he'd go in the grass, yeah. he'd like hold his foot up. 
then he'd like hop around his back foot but i'm demonstrating <laughs> he would hop around in the grass and then as soon as he get back on the asphalt or the cement he would like use his feet again so mm -hmm. we were like what was going on then we looked at it and like a piece of his pad was missing yeah i don't know what he really was bad. playing really rough with a bunch of other dogs at our friend's house in Montana. So I'm thinking maybe it just got like scraped on the concrete or somewhere yeah. rough housing with the dog. But we put those little booties on him so he wouldn't lick his feet. And he like couldn't understand how to walk. It was so cute. He like would take a step. He was like a he, baby like, can't deer. can feel the ground. It was so, so like, funny. <laughs> bounces just, like, and clops. like waddling and... around. It's really yeah. good. But now he's fine. Thank you for asking. Are y'all using the heather? The heater? The furnace? The heater. Yeah. Yes, we are using You guys, heater. if you're going to live in a van and you're going to live in it in some semi-cold temperatures, you want a furnace. And the one we have has been amazing so far. I don't know if they can see this. Move your head this way. That's just the thermostat. Yeah, that's our thermostat. But we have it nice and programmed so we can set the temperature and uh, it maintains it throughout the day and night. It's Yo, great. Shane. What's up, brother? Oh, Shane. $2 thank you. $2 super chat. Hello, wow. my great friends. Where are you now, Shane? Yeah, where are you? Shane is lifting across the country. Pretty cool. He he gives lift rides. He gives lift rides. To pay for his travels around the country. Yeah. So go get a lift from Shane. What brand of booties are they reusable? Yes. Yeah, I'll show you. They're reusable. They're rough wear. Are they rough wear? Yep. Pretty much all Frank's stuff is rough wear because I bought it all from backcountry when I used to work there. Aren't they so adorable? And they just stick on your little feet and Velcro. Frank's looking at them like, oh, I remember those. Frank's like, let's go. Are we going for a walk? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Cool. There you go. But yeah, we love the, the furnace and the heater, in case you're wondering. Y'all need to write a van conversion ebook. Well, West so, Iman. So I wrote one and <laughs> it's in processing. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that needs to go into editing it and putting pictures with it. And I thought it was gonna be done at the beginning of September. So which wishful and thinking, yeah. Here we are almost to the beginning of October and it's not done. So really the issue is so I'm not gonna even say a date of when it's gonna be done, but oh. when it's done, we'll make videos about it, we'll yeah. make a live stream about it, there'll be Instagram posts. So it's not gonna be blueprints of the van. It's literally a step-by-step -step manual of the process we used and the order that we did everything in, because I think for us at least that was the hardest part. There's so many little mini projects in building a van that it really I thought would be helpful, we thought, to have like a an order of operations but you really need pictures to describe so much of what we're writing about that. Yeah. That's it just been, helps a lot. We're working on it's it. It's hard coming. to explain some of that stuff. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, we are in the upper peninsula of Michigan and it's like 40 degrees. Yeah. Not, not that cold. I could totally take off my beanie and the jacket, yeah. but. Oh, in the van, it's nice and insulated and warm. We have it set to like 65 or something, 68 in here. Did we build our own shower? We built it all. Sure did. Mostly just me, not gonna lie. I did everything and Trent sat there in the corner That's not true. and watched me. It was great. <laughs> Hello, I'm South Korean. Oh, cool. What's up, South Korea? Will. Will Hill. Will Hill, what's up? Nine dollar and four cent mic drop. Thank what you, is thank up, you, brother? Thank you, thank you. How Thanks, are man. you? What are you up to, Will? I'm right in the gas tank. Yeah. Seriously, right, right into the gas tank. Especially when we're like traveling such large leaps across the United States. Yeah. Gas is like the number one thing that adds up. Yeah. Huh, Frank. Yeah, for sure. Love that you got sillier on your videos as you got more comfortable. Thank awesome. you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, it's That's definitely really a process. Us. Yeah. And we're just trying to be more ourselves on camera but it's such a risk, right? Cause you don't know like if people are gonna resonate with your personality and how that's gonna come across. And we're just pretty goofy, I would say in general. Yeah, definitely. So as like, as you figure out that film line. more, you get more comfortable yeah. when you're first starting, you're like, Bleh, and you like do weird things yes. and say weird things. Cause like you're being filmed. So just kind of the growing pains. I but. think these live streams help though. Like 
Yeah. Th this is real. I just We're don't not... pay attention to the fact that there's 265 people. Wow, there are right 265 <laughs> people in here. <laughs> that is wild. Hey, Windsor Armor. Armor. Do you know how to use your hand as a Michigan map? Yes. My mama is from Detroit, actually, so I, I do have some history here. Bethany said, great Wi-Fi video. Thank you, Bethany. Thank you. Um, Highland Mountain Bike Park here in New Hampshire. On my list, I think we're definitely going through New England. We would love to do a lot of biking. Hopefully it's not too cold by the time we get there. But Yeah, we're probably going to be there in like three weeks, I would say. Yeah, so. mid-October. So we'll see. But we would love to. Hopefully we have like some heat waves that come in and... Yeah. Make the northeast tolerable while we're there. Some hurricane winds. No, no hurricanes. Just a little <laughs> bit of late. A little bit of late fall warmth. Julie, love, love the bike videos. I kind of lean with you while watching them. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank Julie. you for I'm the $10 like super it. chat. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, and Shane again. Wow, Shane killing it tonight thank you still in dallas right now i'm trying to get my car fixed oh. i'm not passing my state vehicle inspection such a setback but i am about to be doing something so cool tonight with my passengers Exciting. sweet are you filming videos nice. with your passengers <laughs> that love would be it. cool love it david manning what's up yeah <laughs> david manning get out of here 20 Come bucks on. for trying to buy a razor and get that dirt off his ah. <laughs> <laughs> that that oh. is that breaks my heart david, david i haven't met you, know, you in like person but i feel like i know you i watched a lot of your videos i love your photography hopefully one day we'll get over there and hang david out. manning is actually the man <laughs> he's the best wedding photographer <laughs> in california if you're getting married in california go find david manning yeah he works the magic <laughs> Uh, maybe that was a while ago. What is the cell phone tower app we used? Yeah, sorry. Oh, in, here, in, let me. I forgot to put a, a picture of the app in the video, but it works well and it is free. There were some comments on that video of what it is. It's, oh, this isn't going to work. Mm. Oh, oh, no. Where are you looking? There, it's right here. Whoa. This one. <laughs> Find tower. It's blue. <laughs> That's really funny. Probably like five people that even want to see that are going to see that. But so many people have asked because like, I don't know. It's like hard to find. That's funny. Gr That's grinder the leaked. No, he doesn't have grinder on his phone. That's yeah, really no, no grinder, man. <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah, I, I think you do have a Starbucks app. Yeah, I shouldn't have shown. I shouldn't have shown my personal app space online. Probably got some things on there. That's really funny. Um, oh, you broken hippie liked my video about the hair thing. You guys, I don't know if you've watched that hair video. That that was um, hard for me to brush my hair out and be on camera with it looking like that. That is not something I would normally do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad she was you pretty self-conscious about the thumbnail. So. Yeah, uh, I don't know that. if anyone saw, but my hair is like four times as as huge when you brush it out. It's insane. Oh, Nicole, thank you. An early reminder that you'll leave soon. Thank you. We appreciate that. Tanner. Tanner Graves. Whoa. The twenty dollar mic drop. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Tanner. Where are you here from? Appreciate the super chat, bro. What are you up to? Oh, and Sid. Oh, my God. They're flooding in. You guys. <laughs> Wait, let us know your travel plans. If you're coming down through VA, we can ride. $5 super chat from Sid. Happen. Yeah. We. It's, it's so hard. I think we're coming through Virginia. I don't know what part, but we'll we'll contact you yeah. and we should meet up. Cool, cool, cool. Regardless. Or we might have some time in November. We're going to be in that area yeah. for like two months, so. We'll meet up. Very cool. $22.99. Colonel Stott, the man himself from Australia, from Australia with the Australia. FJ. With the FJ. I hope you like those stickers. Yeah. I'm really glad we got them over to you. I wasn't sure how that would work. Thank you for the super chat. All the man. way to Australia. But you're one of our best patrons. We appreciate you. Shane again. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shane. I'm filming them, but I'm about to hit a thousand rides tonight with lifts. So my thousandth passenger will get a $25 lift gift card and Trent. 
You are hurting my feelings. Get right. Get rid of the Uber app. <laughs> Wait. Is it? Oh, I used to have Lyft right next to it, but I deleted it. <laughs> I like never activated Lyft. And I just always use Uber. And then when I tried to use Lyft, it like it like wouldn't it wouldn't activate. I couldn't use it, so I was just like, I'm getting rid of this thing. That's funny though. <laughs> I just always I always roll with somebody that has Lyft, and then we can figure out which has got the best rate. Jennifer, did you try the hair routine? You said it worked great. I hope it actually worked for some people. It's definitely like the only thing that works for it's me. It's just an alley hair thing. It really is. But I, I hope that was helpful. That's awesome. Someone asked, what's a good beginner mountain bike? Um, That's hard. Because mountain bikes are expensive. Back. I don't know. Diamondback's like one of the less expensive brands where you still get like some of the nicer components, I think. They're more affordable. And then you kind of know whether you're going to like it. And if you love it. Then I recommend going with one of the bigger brands. Yeah. Stop, Frank. Oh, Shane, with another $2. Thank you so much. Yeah, we do know a guy in Lyft now. That's hey. true. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Oh, brother. Tanner coming in from California and loves our content. Thank you. We so appreciate you guys watching our content. Thanks, and Tanner. We're happy to kind of tailor videos toward what you guys want to watch. So if there's any burning desire for a certain topic that you want us to cover, let us know. We're super open to stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like when you ask for recommendations, it's almost looks like you lack creativity to make your own videos. But really, it's just that we want to like tailor things to the audience. Like we want to give people what they want to see. We can create things, but not everybody's going to like it. And we just kind of like to give the people what they want. Oh, Michelle looked at our first bikes today. You've inspired us. That is exciting. Yeah. Get out there and ride. Get a bike. Cool, cool, cool. I love mountain biking. What bikes do we ride? Changed my life. Santa Cruz Bronson, Yeti SB 5.5. That's right. Matt, $15. Matt Shelp. Oh, get yourself some coffee beans at Velodrome in Marquette. Hey, we're going to go there tomorrow. We need oh, coffee yeah. so bad. So thank you. We will do that. And we really appreciate that. Finish college over, get a job over Uber, Uber lift, plus ETNA. Lift and ETNA. <laughs> <laughs> I like that trajectory, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, we're picking up what you're laying down. The 199 super chat. Thank you. Oh, Kevin. Kevin Somerville. Thanks for getting back to us all in the comments. You both feel like friends. Just love you guys. Thank oh, you. Thanks, Kevin. We really Appreciate enjoy that. responding to comments. It takes a huge part of our day. I'd say Trent spends, spends the majority of his time. Like it takes hours yeah. to respond to the comments, but like I feel I, I like carry around a weight on my shoulder when I like don't answer them. And finally it just gets to the point where I'm like, no, it's been two days. Like I got to get on and in. Like it just, I got to answer well, the I mean, comments. I feel like it definitely helps us create a stronger relationship with you guys. And we just want you to know that we care about your comments. So thank you. And I take them all to heart. Even the mean ones when people make mean comments. Like, oh, <laughs> it hurts. And you dwell on the mean ones. We really, we you really have a do. thousand nice ones and one mean one. And you're like, ah, oh, those stick with you. For sure. One comment. <laughs> and it could be something that's like not that's even funny. close to true. People are just, people are just rude sometimes. 280 plus people watching. Where are the likes? 292. If you're watching this video, please Yo, go ahead smash. and smash the smash like button. Smash that thumbs up. Yeah, it would be very helpful. We would really appreciate 75 it. 75 likes. Are we going to RTR? Interesting question. Actually. The Rubber Trent Rendezvous. <laughs> rubber Tramp Rendezvous. I, I think we might. We'll make a small appearance. I think we might. I know I, somebody told me it's like a month long or three mm -hmm. weeks long or something. Mm -hmm. Definitely not going to be there for three weeks or a month, but I think we're going to go hang out with some people and then take off. So, <laughs> wow, those likes shot up. Thank you very much. Hey, still <laughs> Thanks, going. Like this video. <laughs> Thank but, you for the likes, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very much. Um, how do we like our water filter setup? Is it worth the extra space for the filter assembly? And would we do anything different now? Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't think so. The space that it takes up is like underneath the sink cabinet. And we just like cram stuff in that cabinet anyways, because it's like oddly shaped. So we might be able to fit one or two things in its place. But we fill up our water out of like people's hoses, which... Mm -hmm sometimes tastes like algae and weird stuff depending on where you're at in the country or 
in the mountains or in a marsh or wherever you are. And the filter like pops out delicious, clean water. Delicious water. It's delicious. Yeah. So in terms of what would be changed, it's worth in its weight in gold. Yeah, for sure. Especially when we're in the back country and we're filling up in random places. What yeah. would we change in the van in general? I don't this know. is like the worst question. It's like, what would you do differently about your childhood? You're like, <laughs> yeah, I could do a million things differently. Yeah. But like, what would I do differently? It's just like, we pretty much love the van. I don't think we'd change. I love how anything. it turned out and it's really functional. Yeah. There's like a couple things like the cabinets right here behind me. This is the one for the kitchen, but there's one over the bed. And the face frame right here is kind of thick. Should I show them? Uh, no. No. Well, you can open it. Yeah. Ugh. So see how thick that face frame is. Wait, put your finger down. See how uh, this way. So there, you can, like goes down and. It here. makes a big lip. Yeah. And the one that we put our clothes in over the bed, that lip like kind of makes it hard to get your jeans and stuff in and out. But that's like. It's like such a minor. Pretty adjustment. nitpicky. Yeah. It's like you got three or four pairs of jeans stacked in there. You can't just like pull the bottom one out easily. You can pull yeah. the top and the second and maybe the third, but like it just makes it less accessible. So like maybe that lip, and then. Bye, the Nicole. Hanging, thank you. Have a good dinner. The hanging portion of the closet, like where we hang our clothes up, we don't really need, but it's nice to have. A lot of people are asking about the toilet. We would put a nature's head in initially. A lot of people want to know about the toilet. Oh, you want like to know it. how good it is? Yeah, and whether we like it and if it's, it's worth it. It's freaking amazing. You guys, it's amazing. It's the best toilet I I've it. ever used. It like, is better than a real toilet. <laughs> I swear to God. It's people just, people say whatever, but like, it doesn't stink. Yeah. You can literally make the biggest stink that would like blow up any bathroom or house. Try it with no. <laughs> and it doesn't stink. Like it just goes into the dirt and it's gone. It doesn't stink. It's like, it's magic. It's and a it's, magic toilet. It's lighter than our little cassette toilet. So for when we shower, we do take it out of the shower, but it's so easy to pick up. We literally, it's just that when you disconnect the little exhaust tube, you have to like put a bag and like a rubber yeah. band around it so water doesn't get in the tube while you're showering. TMI, sorry. <laughs> That's, hey man, you guys ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does Trent empty it? Yeah. I emptied uh, the cassette We haven't toilet. even had to empty that it yet. That was gross. We like emptied yeah. the liquids container. Solids is just chugging along. It's nice. Which is cool to me. Never mind, my cabinet idea is stupid. I just realized that fully limits what you put inside the cabinets. How did we meet? That's one of my favorite questions. Allie always likes to make up a so, funky story. So one time, it was like three in the morning, and I had to go to Walmart for some cough medicine. I was just dying, and I'm in Walmart by myself in like pajamas and scarves and just like drooling out my nose from this terrible head cold that I had, and I'm in the uh, vitamins and supplements and... Cough there I was now. stalking the supplement <laughs> section, working at Walmart. And Trent took so such good care of me. This is and back when I was in a wheelchair. And made me tea and <laughs> healed me back to life. No, no, this is true. This is all fake, guys. Oh, he's a terrible liar. Uh, well, I don't know. Our our how we met story isn't that interesting. We actually met on an online app. Uh, turns out on sometimes the interwebs. sometimes those things actually work. Not Tinder. Not Tinder. But like, you know, in the same vein as Tinder. And there was a jungle. That's right, Jimmy, you read my mind. It, it was a Walmart in the middle of the jungle and we had to walk uphill both ways in the snow to get there. I'm Manny Evans said you're hot, thank you. You are hot, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Hutchins, take care, love you both, thanks. You're hot, B. <laughs> thanks, bro. What about winter van heating? We have a furnace in here. It's run on propane and it works really well. We haven't had any issues. We're it's so amazing. warm. It uses a decent amount of propane, I would say. So like we normally use like a dollar of propane in a month. And this thing probably uses like a dollar every five days when it's like cold outside. So it's a big difference, but you're looking at like less than 10 bucks a month to heat your van. Mm. Works really well. What about AC? Shane, no AC. With the five dollar super chat. Shane, thank you all very much. Thank you, brother. 
I would, I would love, love to, to see a great time lapse video like in the beginning of today's video, but the whole thing of a bunch of places you visited. That's a good idea. That we could do that. We archive almost all of our footage, mm -hmm. so it would probably just be like just like blurry and crazy fast. You have to put like titles so you know where we are in each one. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate I like that, that, Shane. I like that a lot. Wheelchair. No, I was never. Can in you a find my van husband? He's around. You just gotta look for him. Vicky White. I'm sure he's around. Is it hard to have a relationship in a van? I mean, I wouldn't not say any hard. harder than anywhere else. Yeah. It helps if you like the other person. I'll, yeah. I will say that. If you're like in a relationship where occasionally you want to strangle the other person, then I it's wouldn't not say work. live in a van. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Shane is your man, dang dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good night, Lori. You ordered some pizza. Time for dinner and enjoy your night. Thank you. Talk to you In later. The aisle of a Walmart. <laughs> I like that story. I think that's cute. <laughs> wow, enormous sleepy high from Poland. From Poland. Hello. Oh, I bet it's late in Poland. Wow. It's like two in the morning. Thank you for being up so late. What time is it in Poland? Should we do a quick run through of where seven, everybody seven, is? Seven seven mucha 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 m u c h a. What kind of? I don't know what you're saying. The person's name. Oh. Should we do a quick run through of where everybody's coming in from? Thomas, Thomas, thank you. Livingston, Montana. Thomas, Cindy. Hey, Thomas, You're our Cindy. Forty-first patron. Thank you. Oh yeah. We were really excited Dude, about that this morning. We got thank a you big so surprise this much. Morning. That was awesome. I love that our patrons are here tonight. Yeah. It's good to hang out with you guys. Patrons represent. Mm -hmm. We actually released the Patreon only video today, yeah. and then. Tomorrow we have a regular episode, and then Thursday there's going to be a Patreon only extended cut, which is going to be awesome. It's pretty fun. And the chat is like a dynamite. Oh, I asked where places. people were coming from, and look at this. Oh, Marquette, nice. We should hang out. Mexico, Pennsylvania, Saskatchewan, Minneapolis, you Pittsburgh, can't. Dallas, I Spanish want... Fork, Utah. Spanish Fork. We know that area. San Angelo, Texas, North Carolina, Portland, Massachusetts, Iowa. More thumbs up smashes, guys. Thank you. Like the video. Please subscribe. Hi from Montreal, New Zealand, Alaska. Oh man, this is awesome. You guys, Aurora, Sugar House, Colorado, we Colorado, used to live Vegas, in Sugar House. That's Traverse awesome. City, oh. Madison, Wisconsin, Clearwater, wow. Alaska, Orem, Fairfax, Billings, a couple Lake of Tahoe. Utahs. Whoa, we just Whoa. Like, that is in Russian. That's cool. Wow, Anaheim, Anaheim California. Home of Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> West Jordan, a bunch of Utahns here tonight. Wow. Hi, San Maggie K. San Diego. Hi to you back. Santa Cruz, Phoenix, Arizona, New Zealand. Another Pete sugar Bassi. house. Wow. Oh, wait, another sugar house? Yeah, Maybe there was it's... a sugar house Utah oh, earlier. Oh, that's, Pete, that's Peter Mason. Oh, this is awesome. We know Peter. Tallahassee, California, Chicago, Australia. Hi, Jill. Hey. Massachusetts. Wow. Russia. Kazan Swamis. Wow. You guys, I am impressed. British Columbia. Madison, Colorado. Love your van build. Orange. For my first oh, night nice. in a rental van conversion to try out hashtag van life on a beach in Massachusetts. Wow. And you're watching our live do stream? Van life. Do you, you I hope you're loving it. it. That's exciting. It's awesome. Get out! Get off of the live stream. Go enjoy the beach. Yeah. What are you doing? And all the people that just told us where they're from, go ahead and like this video. <laughs> we got 299 people in here. Oh, Whoa. 295. Wow. We could get over 300 if everybody likes the video. Because when you like it, then it shows it to other people. It's like how the whole shebang works. The whole shebang. The whole wow. Shebang. Kevin. Kevin $10. Somerville. More propane for the colder months coming. You're both welcome to hang at the cottage next summer in Ontario. Oh, thank you. That is thank awesome. Thank you so much. Thank wow. you. We'll definitely be back. Oh, and Shane, I'm convinced I will become a patron of yours. I'm missing out, I guess. Yeah, you hey. guys, check out our Patreon. We got some goods over there. We'll put, if you're interested. You put a link in there. Sure. Sure. Just bought a van in Albuquerque and driving and drive it to Kentucky yesterday. Kathy Lee, that's exciting. Are many of you it. are many of you interested in van life? I wonder like where our audience demographic comes from. Are you guys all about to be in van life? Or are you here for the mountain biking? Or are you here for 
another reason? Like what brought you to our channel? That is an excellent question. And I put the Patreon link in the chat if anybody's curious. So many people are watching from their van. It's because van life is Mountain a bike, community. It's like uh, totally van life. once whether you live in a van, van or you want to live in a van or you're going to live in a van. Yeah. Like it's this. It, we have this in common. Oh, you know, Frank. it's just like. Or did Frank bring you here? Frank, Frank brings in some people. It's for sure. A lot of van life people. This is cool. When I retire. Van nice. life, van life, van life, van life, and Frank. And, and some mountain biking. To RV. Nice. Oh, van Eliza van just life, likes van just life. likes us. Thank you, Eliza. Thank <laughs> That's you, Eliza. Really sweet. We like you too. <laughs> yeah, where's Frank? Bring him out here. Puppy. He's asleep. He's he's pretty sleepy today. Oh. Frank is the perfect dog because when we're chilling in the van, he just chills. And when we're out on a hike or mountain biking, he can run for miles. Hello, everybody. He goes, yo, what's up? What's up? My name's Frank. Smells like a sleeping dog. My name's Frank. Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, boy. Hi. Hi. Can you say hi? He's now? all healed. For those that have watched a couple of our more recent videos, he's all healed and doing oh, good. Boy. He's a happy dog. Oh, I love it. Okay, you can go back to bed. I love everybody in here. Is he a mutt? He, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a blue healer, probably mixed with a Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah. Mutt, mutt ish. Actually, yeah. I bet I can find pictures of his parents. You guys want to see pictures of his parents? <laughs> you should have well, something I would ever show in a video. What? Show a picture of him as a puppy. That's oh, not, that's not going to help you. He was the cutest little puppy. Yeah, he's a healer for sure. He weighs 33 pounds. We just got him weighed at the vet a couple days ago. And he is one and a half or maybe a little bit more than that. One and three quarters. And he loves to wear clothes. We have a couple rain jackets and booties for him. You guys ready? Oh, this is Frank's pops. That's Frank's dad. And he was a beefcake. He like he probably doesn't look that big, but he's like a he's huge. Yeah, he was like he's a like fifty pound. Not tall. He's just like really, really Stop wide. It. His shoulders are like. Yeah. Okay. We got Frank on a ranch in Utah, in like southern central Utah. They were just giving away pups that they didn't want. And there's his ma. Looks very just a like little a little red healer, but like mostly Jack Russell. Like a little Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah. She's also like. 11 inches tall. Yeah, she was tiny. She's a tiny little dog. So I think that's why Frank is so little. Not a not a red healer, though. Oh, what's up, Big Nick? The compost toilet is great. We love it. Actually, it's like the best decision we ever made. And there's little Frank as a puppy. Oh, man. What, not I don't know. Just... You have to tilt your screen the other way. The other way? This way? This way? I'm... I'm... I guess you just can't see it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, guys, you guys don't get a good picture of Puppy Frank. <laughs> All right, back to questions. Yes. Sorry. Anyway, <sighs> I have a Pro Master that I use for mountain biking and skiing. I found you guys from Tony Vanza and got hooked on your great mountain biking tour last summer. Thanks, Yay. Peter. That's awesome. We miss Tony Vanza. That was a great band. Really great. One of your sister's Great Danes loves to wear tutus. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy MBS. Yo, $5 mic drop with Five a super dollars. chat. Thank you. How are you? It's good to have you here. You can tell he is spoiled. Oh, yeah. He's a spoiled pup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. He deserves it. Oh, thank you for the great content. Thanks for being a viewer and a friend. We appreciate that. Reactive mountain biking. What's up, Kevin? Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. You made it. We're stoked to see you here. Are you guys hitting the bike park up there? Up, up in where? Marquette? We're in Marquette, Michigan. Yeah. If you're just joining us, we're Trent and Allie. We live in this van that we're standing in right now. We travel around the country and we like coffee. <laughs> can Trent break dance? <laughs> yes. Yes, he can. Who asked that? Only a little bit. <laughs> Someone who knows Trent just asked that. Trent's Big Nick Digger. That's so funny. He's a great break dancer. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Love watching y'all mountain bike, but I scream. Oh my God, watch out. You're going over. 
Oh, Copper Harbor has a bike park. I don't know. Oh yeah, they have. It's can like we see a, Trump's special dance? It's a shuttle. <laughs> no special dances. He can moonwalk. He's a country singer. He's quite talented. He used to be a pole vaulter, not a pole dancer, pole vaulter, different. But <laughs> he's very talented. Do we use fitness trackers? We use Strava um, from most biking. I like to use Map My Run for runs. What? Hello from Charleston, Indiana. Arrived home to broken water main down the street, causing broken oh. water main and yard. Oh, Todd, no. Todd, that's a nightmare, dude. Wow, Todd, at I'm least sorry. You, at least you're here, but that sounds like quite the predicament. Oh, yikes. That's a nightmare. He killed the moonwalk when y'all bought him new shoes. I yeah. Remember. He's that was a, actually a really bad moonwalk. He's, was, a, he's a good dancer. I was ashamed. We shouldn't have even put that in the video. <laughs> That's so funny. Install a pole in the van. Trent <laughs> ages funny. me years riding so close to the edge. <laughs> well, when you have all that gear on, I feel like sometimes it's a handicap. Like if you have a full face helmet and a bunch of body armor and a neck brace, sometimes you take risks that you think are okay. <clears throat> and then uh, you realize that that armor is only going to help you so much. So... I don't know. It's good Say to take risks. what rest, happens but... again when you get to 309 likes. I was just saying if we got more likes, we could get more than 300 people in here. It's been bobbling at 280, 86. 290. <laughs> we haven't been able to break 300 people in the in the, uh, the live stream. Thank you for the hair video. You're welcome, Nisi. I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Um, Dorothy found us through aiming and back end minimum wine. What kind of coffee do we drink? We drink espresso beans mostly because we have an espresso machine in the van. So Harry's doing pretty good. Oh, hair bear. He's got some new leaves. Hey, they can't see this. There you go. Show them new leaves. They've got he's got new leaves here and new leaves here and here. Wait. Isn't that so funny that the plant randomly turns here. out to be a coffee plant? He's 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 maturing nicely. But it's like cold <laughs> up here, so we're kind of worried. We've been keeping the temperature yeah. above 65, which I read online that coffee plants can't be below 64 degrees or something. So hopefully that's accurate internet knowledge and we're not going to kill him. Hopefully. We were excited, or Trent was really excited the other day to find a little brother. Did you call him a brother or a son? I think you called him a brother. No, I said he was a little brother. A little brother. Everybody says he was a weed, he was so a I weed. pulled him out. <laughs> Everybody said to get rid of him. Where are we? We're in Marquette, he's Michigan. definitely not a spider plant. No, he's not a spider plant. <laughs> but um, he is a coffee plant. That's cool. Hello South to Tennessee. We might drive through Tennessee. Yeah. Because we're going to have to go back across the country. That would be cool. In Come December. To Knoxville. What do you like to do in Salt Lake? Also, do you have a favorite ski resort there? I loved Brighton. But Salt Lake, to me, was just a great city because I lived... I grew up in Washington, D.C. I've lived in Bozeman, Montana. Oh, my gosh. You guys with the super chats. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shane. <laughs> Two dollars super chat. Peace out, brother. Good night, Shane. Thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for making every live stream. Shane is always That's here. true. That's true. Reactive mountain biking as well. $10. Kevin. Thank you. I was late due to cooking dinner. Chicken marsala with roasted red skin potatoes and green beans. Ooh. Ooh. Weren't we supposed to do a dinner out on your last super chat? Live stream it even? That would be crazy to live stream like in a uh, restaurant. We didn't live stream it, but. We did. We did go out for dinner. We went out to a it was expensive. extra fancy <laughs> dinner. <laughs> we, we spent a lot of money. We pulled into Copper Harbor. I guess I'm just not going to finish the story that I was telling. But we pulled into Copper Harbor a couple days ago. It was late. It was like seven or something. We'd been driving for many hours. And we both decided to just go check out a cute little restaurant right on the water at the end of like the marina area. Yeah, and it didn't look fancy. No, but it looked really sweet and cute and smelled great. It smelled like seafood. We were right on the water. We get seated. It's like $30 courses. We're like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, thank and you very much. We like for a $40 that. bottle of wine. Like, yeah, at that point, we're just like, all right, we're well, here. Like, all right, let's get an appetizer, too. YOLO, guys. You got hey. it. Once you're in, you just go big. That was our date. So, that, that was, was our, our date night. <laughs> our, our, our date night for the our whole month. monthly date <laughs> <Yeah>. night. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's Gotta great. have a good night every now and then. Good yeah. night out every now it's and true. then. It's true. It was really true. nice. The UP isn't much different than Canada, though Canada has the most gorgeous valleys and mountains. We're excited to I explore mean, more of yeah, Canada. It's true. Yeah. Where do you find an alley of your own? They're out there, I promise, Zach. I promise. You just gotta look. Where is Trent from? Can you guys do an About Us video? Mm. I'm from Utah, and our About Us video would be just really boring for me. <laughs> Why? I Allie think... has a really exciting life. I think it's opposite. Well, I think yours is way cooler. Maybe we'll do an About About Us video. Yeah. It would take a long time. It's not like something that we could just whip up. It's like you gotta like. It'll be we'll we'll try it. I think I'm that rambling. would be cool. We'll try it. I think that would be cool. Are we sticking around for the mild winter? We are. Heading toward New England ish area and heading south toward DC to go See visit you later, my go family. Small, live large. Aw. Good night. Thank you. See you online soon. Um, so but I think we'll be back into Utah by the time we hit winter again. So we're not like tr actively trying to avoid winter. Yeah, no, we're really? gonna snowboard and yeah. do all kinds of winter activities. We'll do some snow videos for sure. But I think we may try to head south and avoid some of the winter. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I would like to go into winter and out of winter and yes. into winter and out of winter. And, I want to do winter on my time. And by out of winter, he means... Africa. <laughs> <laughs> they never have winter in Africa. <laughs> Kidding. Sort of. <laughs> Not going to Africa. We might be taking some trips. We'll see. It's exciting. Matt has I begun using. Do you guys like football? In a, I'm a Seahawk fan. That's funny. Not a huge Seahawks. football fiend. Football fiend. fan. He's a football fiend, you know. I'm not a football fan. Oh now. yeah. Um, but I will watch it. I like to watch two teams that are like closely battling it out, or like the Super yeah. Bowl. Things like that are exciting. I grew up with a pretty hardcore uh, Washington Redskins family background, so my football fan career never went well. <laughs> Yeah, Sid, I'm gonna have to get uh, I'm gonna have to get one of the Hero Sevens so that I can do some cool snowboard snowboard footage. Some snowboarding. The Eagles, yeah. My uncle lives in Philly, and he was stoked about the Eagles. I mean, he's always stoked about the Eagles. Football, football, football. Is Allie's accent Minnesota or Maryland? I don't know. She's not. She doesn't oh, have when an you accent. Talk, well, I can. I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's hard to do them at the drop of a hat like that. Hello from Helmet Head, Texas. Skins fans are a loyal bunch. Yeah, it's true, but they're not a very successful bunch. Gotta go. <laughs> See y'all next time. Love you. Have a great night. See you, Bethany. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being here. She talks normal. Yeah, I she does. Thank you. I try to talk normal. We ordered the GoPro 7. Looking forward to it. Oh, nice. I wish GoPro would just send us one. Like, come on. We're a small YouTube channel that could really use it. They're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. They don't care about us. That's funny. <laughs> Hashtag all creators are small. Too Africa would be interesting to travel in a van. Yeah, well, I agree. We yeah, thought no, a you, little bit about shipping our van. It would be interesting to get eaten by a lion. Okay, you know, there's a middle ground for sure. Um, we've. I'm scared of Africa. We have talked about shipping our van abroad, though. Yeah, but not to Africa, to like no, I know, but Australia like, or New Zealand or yeah, probably more likely like Europe. That could be cool. I would be into that. Trying to convince my wife to live van life. She's not interested at all. Advice? Um, sell your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Force her into it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, rent a camper van. Like, Yeah, try it for a weekend. That's definitely With that being fun. said, some girls... It's not going to be down with, I mean, when, or when just your take house, her camping. take her backcountry camping for a whole week and yeah. then take her in a camper van and she'll be like, Oh, this is luxury. This is amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's funny. Hello. Please hey, Ronaldo. Ronaldo Vigatti. 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 That's awesome. <laughs> Vigatti Spaghetti. If you go someplace like Africa or Arizona, I would buy or install an atmospheric water generator in the van. Do you know what is that? that? An atmospheric water generator? Is that like a so you don't humidifier? Have to fill up your water tank? A humidifier, I'm guessing. I don't know what that is. It's a water generator. That's cool. Where can I rent a van in Massachusetts? I have no idea. 
You can. You want to rent our van? Should we rent our van out? Ten thousand dollars. Find us on Airbnb. Ten thousand dollars a night, and I'm not leaving the van. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna be in here together. You have to share it with us. <laughs> Hey, that could be a thing. It pulls water out of the air, pure and drinkable. Solar water? That's cool. Stay in yurts. That would be awesome. Tom yeah. Log Lagudis. Lagudis? Lagudis? Lagudis. Lagudis. I don't know. Lagudis. <laughs> Hello. Trenton Alley's. Hello. Hoping you can see me. <laughs> Dorothy. Dorothy. Wow, thanks for the laughs and adventures. Me and my four dogs love watching you guys. Uh, Thank you. That's awesome. That is so sweet. I bet the dogs like watching Frank, huh? Uh, so, okay, we were just they, in Wisconsin. So, okay, a month or two months ago, we were hanging out with Trent's family in Utah. And his sister has two little dogs that didn't get along with Frank very well, I would say. They hate Frank. They kind of all just hated each other. Um, and then we were just in Wisconsin visiting the same sister and she was saying that whenever she watches our videos now and Frank's collar jingles, her dogs start freaking out like they can hear Frank and they remember how much they didn't like him. It's they know funny. the sound of his tag. Yeah. They just hear it on the TV and they go nuts. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bryce, for helping out. Smash the like button. If you're in here, if you watch. Oh, 304. We broke oh, that. Oh, we broke 300. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> that was my break dancing. Did you guys see it? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's the on camera dance. <laughs> we broke 300. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Wow. I don't know, what, I don't know what to do with my life now. I feel like it's complete. Life is over. That was all we wanted. Like a rock star. That's how rock stars dance. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> I learned that one from Mick Jagger. <laughs> Someone asked, What's our favorite YouTube channel? Wait a minute. <gasps> Charlotte. Charlotte Powell. $20 oh. super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. I hope you're enjoying this, Charlotte. Love your van. You two are awesome. Thank you. you are awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We're glad that you like our home. Um, someone wants to know what our favorite YouTube channel is, but also Sid said that's the white man's overbite dance. That's really funny. White man's <laughs> overbite dance. Allison says, congrats. What's the off-camera dance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by on camera i mean all you can see is like this up so i'm just like moving and trying to stay within the screen yeah there's nothing on going the on down whoa, there whoa <laughs> what if i wasn't wearing pants good thing you're wearing pants yeah <laughs> hey what's up kids lol what's up nomadic frog we see you we i know see nomadic you. frog now to get now what's get up, married kids? to really complete your like or your life maybe any solar device to power RV 120 volt completely mm. off grid. Alvin, what what do you mean by that, man? Any solar device. Oh, any solar advice. Sorry, I'm also blind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 RV. RV 120 completely off grid. You need solar panels, charge controller, an inverter, and a battery bank. <laughs> And I would say yeah. put aside two to three thousand dollars to accomplish that. Oh, thank you, D. Where did I get that dope scarf? Trent made fun of me for getting the scarf. At LL Bean. It was on sale. It was on sale at, at the, the Mall of Mall America. Mall of America. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. Um oh Peter. Would love to know Peter. more about your furnace. Okay. Let's talk furnace. What do you so, want to know, man? It runs on propane. Mm -hmm. It is 20,000 BTUs, I believe. Okay. It's, it's a monster. Okay. It's like built for big RVs. RVs. Yeah. And it only has to have two holes that are like this big um, <laughs> cut in the side of your van so that it has an intake and an exhaust. It sucks air in from the outside, mixes it with propane, lights it on fire inside mm -hmm. a closed container, and then the exhaust goes out. Mm -hmm. So that container gets really hot because there's explosions or fire happening inside it. And then a fan just blows over that container throughout your van. And that's how it works. And it works really well. And I think they're like four or 500 bucks. And it like, yeah, it hardly uses any propane. 
uses all more the, than the stove and stuff, obviously, but all of the stuff that is in this van are pretty much in every single all, like links to all of the products we use in this van are in all, all of our videos for the most part. So if you look yeah. in the description of every video, it has like our stove and our furnace and blah 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 blah. If you're and interested, what is it? What is it called? The 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 furnace? I don't know. Um, it's made by Suburban, and they make like. 20 different models what is it called like, in the links how can they find it propane furnace propane furnace it's in, it's in the propane section go to the van tour or just That's go to like, our last video i think it's on yeah, every video i think it's in there yeah i'm pretty sure it's under propane there's like a whole section Claire, which says like propane stove <laughs> propane tank propane oven blah 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 propane water heater it's under propane furnace yeah Somebody go check that out and see if you can find it. Yeah, someone verify back, for us. Let us know. <clears throat> or throw that link in here. Something, something inside this jacket is making me itchy. Oh, you better take it off. What then. is that? I don't know. Something's like... Is there a bug? No. We're terrified of ticks now that we're in the UP and everyone keeps talking. Well, even in Wisconsin, people were talking about You're going to get Lyme disease. So we're just like every itch, every like movement, we're like, <gasps> it's terrified. a tick. It's a deer tick. We're going to die. I just, I've, I've known people that had Lyme disease. Yeah, that's... And they're like the grumpiest, mean yeah. people I've ever met because they're just like in pain and they just hate everything. And I feel cool. really bad, For but I also reason. just don't want to get it. Now... So we're scared of ticks. Um, Kevin wants to know now that we're at 38k subs, 50k not very far away, how do we plan to celebrate this? Celebrate 50k? I don't know. What you guys want to do? I don't know. We could do something crazy. I need recommendations. Oh, you guys, he's never been skydiving. He's terrified of skydiving. No, how about for 50k? No, no, we no, make no, him no, go that's, skydiving. That's for half a million. Come on. That's for half a million. I'm not I'm not skydiving at 50k. Why? What if it like happens tomorrow? It's like what if we're climbing a mountain? We're not. <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be cool. Yeah, be you cool. just want to skydive. You don't do it. Cool. You Bryce is on board. Bryce, you and I, let's go skydiving. Trent doesn't want to go. That, that says doit. He's saying doit. Oh, I think he's saying do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Skydiving is so fun. I love it. Ticks are no joke. Definitely take precautions. Exactly. We're taking a lot of let's precautions. Let's go back to the TikTok. <laughs> but if you have a suggestion of how we should celebrate 50K, if or when we get there, no skydiving. You need to make it to 100K. All right. At All right. least, right? At least. I don't want to die no, at 50K no, no. because I went skydiving. <laughs> Come on. I Celebrate. think Allie should eat snails for our 50,000. Why is it always me? Because I don't want to eat snails. Gross. You guys, I love sushi. I hate fish. I hate fish. And Trent, all he's been wanting to do is go fly fishing. Manitoba like ticks these... are big as elephants. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> We've been in these beautiful areas where there's great fly fishing and all he wants to do is go fly fishing. So we finally go, can we tell them the story? In Montana and he's got a fishing license and all this gear. He has like waders and a full setup. He looks very crocodile dundee. He goes fishing. He's gone for like three and a half hours. He comes back with one little guy, little guy. She didn't catch anything. Well, I didn't even try. I don't want to fish. That's, that's not. Yeah, it's a skill. You have Not to hone that. it. Anyway, then he cooked it and I had to eat it. I was like, are you serious? Yeah, she took one little bite and was like, Ooh. I just am not a fish person, Ooh, but, I, but I love like sushi. Fish. Isn't that so weird? Yeah, she I try. Sushi. I try fish all the time because I feel like maybe today's the day I'll like fish. But... No fish. What's wrong with you? I know. Good job, Allie. Maybe I just. Wait, isn't sushi fish? Yes. Actually, Rob, it is. It is. And it's uncooked fish. Which you would think would, would be worse, but like there's not as much of that fishy smell or flavor to it. I don't know. I just hate that fishy smell that comes with like cooked salmon, especially. Just like ugh. Tommy Wong. How do you ugh. guys know each other? We met on a dating app. Oh, come and on. And we've known each other since then. Where's your story? <laughs> yeah, it's true. They wouldn't call it fishing. They'd call it catching. <laughs> nice. See? Nice, nice, nice. I like those fish that are shaped like lobsters. Oh, well, that's funny, Gary. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, Kevin. Trent skydiving at 50K fund. No. I love it. I love it. <laughs> no. Don't, yes. don't start a fund like that. <laughs> Help me out, people. It should be done in Utah. You're missing a zero. Down. It needs to be 500K. <laughs> that's the skydive Trent that's fund. That's so funny. I'm glad you got your sticker self. That's awesome. <laughs> That's it so should be funny. done in Utah. So he's lost all the <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, a 50k epic ride. That could be fun. Like a really big group mountain bike ride. Yeah, maybe we could talk to That's Epic. That's a good see idea. If, see if they'd want to help out the old TNT MTV crew <laughs> and getting a trip put together. Do you guys, for a lot of you, you might not even know, our old name used to be TNT MTV, which obviously is like the worst name in the history of all YouTube channels. But it was pretty much, we were in the van, but we were mountain biking only. And now, of course, obviously, we've rebranded. We do a lot more than just mountain biking, but... There, OG fans there, unite! Yeah, that's right, OG What's up, fans. Bryce? There's a lot, of, a lot of you guys out there that remember those days. <laughs> TNT MTB, like, boy. M What's awesome is that there's a handful of people that are even in this live chat. Yeah. It's like, almost it's makes me cool. want to cry. <laughs> That we're in the original That's live cool. stream that I did by myself. Oh, I forgot the first... about that. So I crashed and hurt myself really bad. So and bad. Allie just abandoned oh, me. Oh, that's not the story. And I had to drive for six hours that's by myself story. back to Salt Lake City. And Allie's like, I'm going to stay hanging out with my friends. So Allie stayed in this Montana. This is not accurate. Everybody. This is accurate. <laughs> this is not a Trent in a wheelchair at a Walmart story. <laughs> So anyways, I'm super injured. Mm -hmm. I had to come back home and then I had to do a live stream where I put new rims on my bike. Yeah. And I remember a few of these dudes in that live stream. And that's awesome. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. as cool as it can be. I think we had like 2,000 subscribers or like 1,800 Maybe. Yeah, or it was something. so it was... little. It's awesome you guys have stuck with us. That is so cool. Can't even believe it. What's up, Pirate Roy? How are you? Ali, shameful. All right, can we just tell the story for real? What? What happened in Montana? No, that's what happened. That is not what that's happened. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's the truth. Okay, so we did this huge uh, mountain biking trip last summer. It, I was there giving advice. Yes, you were. Kevin. That's awesome. Wow. It ended in Big Sky, Montana. I used to live in Bozeman, Montana. So we met up with a bunch of my friends. We all went on this huge group ride. Thanks, Oscar. Thanks, o Oscar. Thanks, Oscar. He said you're a badass dude. Oh, yeah, he is. He's for sure. So we meet up with all my friends in Big Sky, Montana at this awesome bike park. First run of the day. Trent is up ahead with a group of guys. He goes off a little jump, right? It wasn't even like that big. It was like a big yeah, no. tabletop, really. It was like a little step down, but it wasn't even that it's a big jump or anything. It's that it's blind. Yeah. And then right as you're coming down, the, the trail kind of swerves around this little like gravel area. And so when you come over the jump, you're just aiming straight at this gravel area. Yeah. And I was like, came off the jump and like kicked it a little sideways. So I was just like shooting straight into the gravel area. So he goes shoulder first, full speed into the side of this gravel wall on the side of the trail and didn't touch his bike really, but like complete. And you scratch, scrapped your head, scratched, scraped. Yeah. I like. Scrap had big scratches down the center of my yeah. goggles. Like I, I got messed up. Yeah. Oh, good night. See you. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. If you have to leave, good night. See you online tomorrow. So he keeps going. He like gets back up on his bike, like shakes it off, and like goes to try to catch up with a couple other guys that were ahead of him. Meanwhile, I'm coming right behind him with a group of girls, and I was like third or fourth off this exact same little jump exact same one and i was fine but i land and my back tire completely tacos and my rear derailleur completely is grenaded off my bike you couldn't even rotate the wheel it was her so, bike exploded and was dead right there it, it was a hundred percent dead so um since then we've been it's been a big sky redemption ever since then but yeah long story short he had to drive back to utah that day six and a half hours by himself and i stayed in montana which was the plan from ahead of time but i did feel very bad because he was really scraped up <laughs> and had to make that drive and then that live stream by himself and, and then all of that footage got corrupted we never posted that video yeah the sd card messed up yeah and from the solar eclipse also. We, do you remember last year there was a huge solar eclipse? We were in Thermopolis, Wyoming, where there was full totality. And we had awesome drone shots and GoPros set up from multiple angles. And no, I think the drone footage is still there, but none of the other... Can you hear Frank? Frank is going... In his sleep. 
It looks pretty weak, but that was like what the retaining wall. Gosh dang oh, it. That looks like your butt or something. Okay. It's not. It's my shoulder. Can you zoom in? Why on can't that? this camera like detect there? You can kind of see that. That large laceration was like really painful, but mostly it was like the dead impact like obliterated my shoulder and I like couldn't lift my arm up. Yeah, it was crazy. It's pretty messed up. It was crazy. But anyways, so then Allie anyway. stayed in Montana and I had to drive the old van all the way from, where was that? In Good night, Bozeman Tom. or Big Sky, all the way to Salt Lake City. It's like six hours. So with one arm, I had to drive myself home. Yeah. Allie just threw me to the wind and didn't even care. Of course I cared. Guys. Also, Come so on. not only did I have to go home and switch tires, I had to go home and rebuild her derailleur That's and true. her rear wheel. I had so oh, but we're we're both crashed. So you know how we ride with walkie talkies so we can like stay in in contact with Good each night, other. Tom. Good night, Tom. It's nice chatting. With if you, we're brother. like on different parts of a trail. So I walkie talkie <clears> to him. I'm like, come in, blah, blah, blah. I crashed and I can't move my bike. And he's like completely dazed and confused. And then his shoulder was so dead that he couldn't carry my bike, which was totally fine. But I felt so bad. Everyone was passing us and I had to carry my bike on my shoulders next to him, who was just like holding his shoulder and walking his bike down next to me from the top of the lift, basically all the way back down to the mountain. It's a long ride. It was long crazy. Walk. It was like a two mile walk on the trail, just like trying to stay out of people's way. Good times. Helmet Heads Adventures says I'd have paid good money to watch that crash. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, it would have been funny. It was funny. Like, I mean, I'm just going along all happy and then all of a sudden, bam! Like, it just like dust and dirt and rocks and the bike flying up. Yeah. It's pretty intense. I'm really upset that the footage got corrupted yeah. because we'll never get to watch it again. Maybe we'll post like the little things we have of that one day. But it's not a full it's not a full story. Good night, sure. Dorothy. Good night, Dorothy. Thanks for being a part of our journey. I think he's a keeper. I agree, Gary. He's a keeper. And no, he didn't order go to the from doctor. The sushi menu. Ooh. Uh Yay. shrimp tempura variations are usually really good. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. Some, maybe some smoked salmon. Yellowtail. I don't love salmon. It's like the fishiest one to me. Yellowtail is good um eel eel sauce is good how about spelunking for 50k yeah that freaks me out that would be cool yeah i don't know why that is different to me than skydiving we can definitely spelunk Ooh, really yeah i don't know if we're committing to that 25 dollars super wow. chat from via bn 70 bean bean vbn vbn maybe 79 79 first live chat oh. i've caught been binge watching your videos love them any future plans for the van Ooh. actually we do have some oh, I don't know plans. if we can reveal this. Can we reveal this right now? Can we just allude to we it? We might. There may be some things happening. We should, might. Should I guess? Don't ever guess. Okay. It. <laughs> we we might be lifting Pamela Vanderson. Mm. Three inches. Three. There's a company in Salt Lake City that makes a lift kit for the ProMaster. And we're trying to work out a deal with them mm -hmm. where we can uh, get a lift installed. Because they like don't no really, way. It's, it's yeah, not like really in cool. production, but it'd be cool because our propane tank hangs pretty close to the ground. Yeah, we do a lot of off roading. And that like worries us and, that's and like a lot of other people, like at our risk parents for and stuff. Our parents don't love that. That's true. So, Pamela's getting a facelift. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and a booty lift. Um, but we'll plug that company if we work with them for sure. We'll tell you all about them. It's still like very preliminary right now, but we'll let you know. So if the company that comes does van permission. conversions, which is cool. So we're gonna like tour their facility yeah. and we'll put them on blast. Yeah. Um. Are we in Michigan? Yes, we are in Marquette and we are hoping to ride. It's been so rainy. Copper Harbor was pouring nonstop. Here it was pouring nonstop all day. Chris Higginson, but, we have airlifts, uh, 5,000 pound oh, yeah. airbags in the rear right now. Yeah. That's like, take I had out? to have that so that <clears throat> I could have peace of mind that our propane tank wasn't going to hit the ground when we went over like big bumps. Full lift with tires too. Yeah, with tires too. Phil. Yeah. We're in the UP of Michigan. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Putting, Putting high on heels. high heels, <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> so you awesome. betcha. That I wish cool. I could see Frank. All right, Desert All right. Pepper. Come here, Frank. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Let's go. This way. He's like, if you guys He's pick sleeping. me up one more time. He's sleeping. Oh, oh Bubba. that's a good boy. No, you can stand. Can you just lay down right here, maybe? Sit. 
Oh, sit, sit right down. there, maybe. Sit down. You want to sit? Oh, yes. Hello, hello. Oh, yes. Someone says proposal to Trent. This is wish waiter. If I get a sex change, will you marry me and build me a van? I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how if you if you get a sex change. And you're really hot and you're a millionaire. I'll think about it. That's your criteria. But Allie, Allie's coming with me. <laughs> and Frank. That's funny. Is there any way the marriage topic can be brought up? Sure. Desert Pepper, what you want to know? What is this channel about? This channel is about Trent and Allie and our dog, Frank. We live in a van full time and we travel around the country. And right now we're doing a live stream, getting to know all of y'all. <laughs> That is not a good proposal. <laughs> <laughs> and hoping you enjoy our ridiculousness. <laughs> Vlogging camera, drone options. Um, hello from Puerto Rico. Hello. Vlogging camera and drone options. We use Sony's A6500. Yeah. Um, here in the next couple months, Sony's going to be releasing, I think, A7000 and A7S3. Both would be really good options for. They're expensive though. Well, they'd both be really well. The A seven thousand is the replacement for A six thousand five hundred. It'll probably be like less than thirteen hundred bucks. For a camera, um, camera gear is insanely expensive. Yeah, if you want a good vlogging camera, you got to pay good money, or else you could do like Canon G seven X. We have one of those. We never use it. If um, we split up, who gets Frank? We just don't split up. Yeah, we've decided that. Whoever wants to leave the relationship doesn't get to take Frank. So we're not going to leave. The so if somebody gets left, they get to keep Frank. And that's me. Why would I leave you? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, zip lining. Yeah. 50K zip line. I love that idea. Pro aerators. Someone Are y'all in Canada? We're really close. Mm -hmm. We're right across the pond from Canada. Um, we're in Marquette, Michigan right now. And why not just a GoPro vlog? We, we did. If you want to go watch we our did. other <laughs> videos, that's where we back came in the, from. Back in the TNT MTV days, we did everything on a GoPro. And like it works. If your content is really good, you can vlog on a GoPro. Yeah. But it's like good audio, crisp, like picture, um, good dynamic range, nice focus. Things like that really make your video production better. Good night, Yasmin. And if you're always on a GoPro, you're just kind of limited in a lot of those areas. And we just wanted to be able to make better videos. If we come to New England, Google this. We are 100% mountain biking. Yes. Yeah, we're going to mountain bike. Yeah. Maybe even if it's muddy. And that is our trajectory. That's where we're going next. I feel like everybody yeah. thinks I'm a baby because they're like in the in the northeast and they're like you're gonna mountain bike and i'm like ah well if it's not muddy <laughs> they're like all we do is muddy so it's just been really rainy recently if i'm from utah up, where if it's like rainy or muddy and you ride the people, kingdom trails people yes. will come after you with a screwdriver try to kill you because like ruins the trails that's true yeah but there's a lot of places where people are just like totally all about the mud like england um google this the or no Helmet head, uh, Heads Adventures. You should do 50K so uh, we can see if he'd ever skydive. You guys have to get us to 50K. And then I'll make him skydive. I think we could pull that out. No, no, no. I don't want skydiving. I think that'd be so fun. Spelunking. I don't I want like to that idea. That sounds scary. A lot of tight, oh. tight openings oh. <laughs> that our bodies will just scrape and squeeze through. And if you get a little too nervous, you might get stuck. I'm fine with that. Why would we do that? Because you're not falling from the sky. Kingdom. Kingdom. That's right. That's Sit right. the kingdom trails all the, all that in a bag of potato chips. 500k skydive? Okay. 500k skydive. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> good night, Peter. Have a good one. Hey, see you later, Peter. My How do Utah we feel homeboy. about dirt bikes, dual sport bikes that may share some of the trails as you guys? I mean, I think I don't really have negative feelings toward them i think not a lot of reservations there's like places in southern utah where you share the trail with like motorbikes like mm -hmm. dirt bikes and they're fine as long as they're not like ripping down the trail like trying to run you over i don't really care mm -hmm. i don't mind the smell of two stroke in the morning have we ever ridden 18 road in fruta yeah yeah we rode 18 yeah. road bro good trails in fruta uh 
oh, is it whoops and whoops, bumps and rollers or um, PBR pumps, bumps and yeah, rollers? Yep. I know all about that. <laughs> and there's the one that's like up on the ridge. It's like really tall and you like drop down the ridge. Fluffy. I can't remember the name of it is. Didn't you learn any from from the Thai soccer team? No caves. That's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to make a comment. That's true. That's because there was monsoon rain. I wouldn't go into it. Someone a, earlier said that southeast raining. Michigan is under tornado warnings. Yeah, I could see that. That's crazy. Well. Yeah. That's Toronto. There's a cave you can skydive into. It's crazy. Chris. Right by Toronto. That sounds scary. I, I think it's in that. Mexico. Wow. Yeah. Something that dangerous would have to be wow. <laughs> somewhere where you're not going to sue anybody if you get hurt. <laughs> Good luck getting a dirt bike down some of the trails. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Come to North Georgia. It is a great place to ride bikes. All right. All right. There's a hurricane in India. Wow. What? Where do we plan to travel after? After what? Good question. After where we are right now. Well, we've got some exciting new content coming up for Wanna you. Want to start in the, the first underwater vlog? Oh, that'd be cool. Love your videos, guys. Keep it up. Um, we're heading east. If that gives you any indication of where we might be going, we're in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan right now. Good night, Alex. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. And we're gonna slowly make our way east and then south along the east coast. <laughs> Hopefully do a lot of mountain biking along the way. Dinner's ready. See you guys later. Thanks, Kevin. Talk to you soon. Appreciate you being here. Hmm. Very cool. Dirty shoes. If you're looking for a decent, cheap trail bike, mm -hmm. um, probably one of the like S or R build Santa Cruises, I would recommend. They hold their value pretty well, and you can get them for probably like 2500 3000 bucks. I would definitely check pink bike. Mm -hmm. So don't you don't always have to go buy brand new from the factory. You can let somebody buy a $4000 bike from the factory and you can pick it up for 2500 bucks. And that's like the best way to get a really good awesome beginner cheap trail bike that's not it's actually yeah. an expensive bike and you get it for cheap. Um, Rob, thank you for saying this twice because I didn't see it the first time. If we're looking for recommendations, take a pontoon ride by Pictured Rocks at Sunset. It's close to us. That sounds fun. Someone else was saying kayaking around Pictured Rocks. Sounds awesome. Maybe cold right now, but we could bundle up. Hey, Todd. Todd. $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you. Talk to you soon about another postage address oh, package. We appreciate that. We appreciate Thanks, your man. gifts. That's awesome. Appreciate you. <laughs> Todd is the man. Yeah. That's awesome. Try YT. Yeah, YT is actually really inexpensive as well. Mm. Let's meet up in Fruits, Colorado. Once the weather is right down there, I'm not opposed to that. It's always cold. On we could Superior. do a group ride in Fruita. That would be fun. Yeah. There's cliff jumping at Picture Rocks too. Mm, I do love some cliff jumping. I'd be leery of kayaking in 40 degree weather. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's It's pretty much 40 degrees and cold and rainy right now. But Sweet. that's okay. Meet up in Santa Cruz. Mm. I liked riding Santa Cruz. I never rode there because you were there without me. Yeah. That would be cool. fun. I was there for work. We, we could go back. That would be fun. I can't remember what the name of those trails sweet. is. I don't know. Florida's nice. Thanks, Sand on the Road. Boondock, you have a great week. Appalachian have we gone trail. to Mackinac Island? Not yet, <laughs> but everybody says we should. And I would I would like to make that happen. Where is it? Is it's it like, here? Yeah, it's right here. Mm. It's like east of us right now. Oh, right over by the bridge? Yeah. Yeah. We could check that out. Yeah. What brand inverter do you use? Ames. A-I-M-S. 2,000 watt inverter charger. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. So are we working remotely while traveling over to the East Coast or just taking time to travel? Well... I work full time actually. I'm I'm in a remote position at my organization, which didn't start out remotely. I had to work that out over almost a year of <laughs> negotiating. I work in a healthcare quality improvement uh, field, and Trent works pretty much full time as well on internet communicating and marketing and what what do you tell people? Internet advertising and maintains the YouTube channel. If a YouTube viewer knocked on the side of your van now, what would you do? 
probably well, probably tell them that we were busy with the live stream yeah. and come back when it's over. Yeah. So but it's guys... really fun running into you guys. I love meeting you in person. So if you ever see us around, please don't hesitate to come up and say hello. We've had that happen a few times, but it always like catches us off mind guard. blowing. It's super mind, mind blowing, blowing that we can just like be yeah somewhere and people recognize us. Yeah, it's weird. It takes me by surprise every single time. But it's pretty awesome. It's awesome, yeah. It's nice to meet everybody. Finishing our solar install this week. Nice. Strangely us. Psyched for you, man. That's, That's cool. That's an exciting day to fire the solar system up and have your off-grid power. <laughs> Lori's back after stuffing her face with pizza. It's good to see you back here, Lori. <laughs> uh, our solar charge controller is great. Mm -hmm. It's 50 amps. I believe it's 50 amps. I, I was like debating so. on 60 amps, but I don't really need it. I just thought maybe if I had to add a panel down the road, I would do 60, but we went 50. Mm -hmm. And it works do great. Do we plan to it. live in a house after we're done traveling? That's such an interesting question because we... We don't want to stop traveling. Love this. Yeah. Um, I think eventually van life will evolve into other things. I don't know if that will be a house or... You know, a van for myself, a van for Trent, and a van for Frank. Like maybe we'll have like a three van camper Good night, desert caravan. Pepper. Good night, desert pepper. But I don't know what this might or might not evolve into. We we love to travel, so maybe a year. Yeah, yeah I that'd feel be like cool. being in a house and like having a regular routine is like refreshing. But I feel like it would be more stale compared to like. I mean, always seeing new places and yeah. always having constant change. So it would be hard to adapt back to that. It's really nice to have that for a couple days every few months just to like reset, High reverse compass. kind of ground yourself. But it could be boring. Harley Davis, you're right. It's true. I don't like AGM over lithium batteries. I just like the price of AGM over lithium batteries. <laughs> If money wasn't an option, I would definitely have a lithium battery bank. They're just really expensive. Pirate but they're Roy. also much smaller and they don't weigh nearly as much. Mm -hmm. So Pirate Roy just bought a high top van E350 Ford. Totally our fault. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're loving it. That's going to be cool, man. Yeah. I'm psyched, psyched to see it. Hello from New Zealand. Wow. Yo, what time is it in New Zealand? It's morning time. Yeah. Or it's like five in the morning wow um i hear that rvs have mold issues do you have that concern with your van we took a lot of care in insulating our van and like thinking about airflow and condensation to avoid mold buildup so so far we haven't had any issues but it's definitely something that we monitor we we pretty much keep a window cracked or like a fan on low all the time one of the one of the reasons that rvs or vans or cars or whatever end up with mold is people will sleep in them. And if it's cold outside, mm -hmm. you want to close all the windows and like your roof vent and stuff. And then your breath builds moisture and condensates on the inside of the van on the inside of the windows, mm -hmm. that moisture gets everywhere in the van. So we have the window cracked and the roof vent is extracting at the slowest speed possible at minimum. Even if the, that, the furnace is on. Yeah, even if the furnace is on, that creates mm -hmm. kind of a, a airflow to keep fresh air coming in and keep the moisture going out. And then we use a furnace that has external combustion. Mm -hmm. If you have any type like a heater buddy or a Mr. Heater, those just like burn propane in the van, that pumps a lot of moisture into the van. And those things themselves will cause a moldy mess. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use them and they have no idea why they have mold. And it's usually from those uh, propane heaters. Yeah. Amy loves how our van is decorated. Thank you. <laughs> Are you happy with your life? I am. I am so thrilled, honestly. <laughs> I'm like the least smiley, happy, outgoing, like showing it type of person. Yeah, so that's for sure. when I like actually smile and I'm excited about living in a van, it's like I'm on cloud nine honestly so <laughs> it's not uh not hard to figure out it's true you can relax i'm How here film sell it's good to have you we appreciate you being here prepared influencer our bed is 76 inches tall it's the full height of a queen size mattress it's oh, just a queen almost bed. yeah 
It is a well, queen size mattress, mattress, but it's it's like squished in there just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Um, someone asked, oh, how much water do we carry? 33 gallons. And we have a nine gallon gray tank that we just empty periodically. Um, where did it go? I don't remember where it is, but someone said, um, do we want to have kids and travel on the road? Like some other van lifers are talking about. Cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> we're not even married guys. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try a second dog before we try a human being. <laughs> Well, we have Harry now. You know, we're just like slowly growing our own little interesting Thank you, family. Eliza. That's funny. Uh, we kind of have a home base, Debs. Uh, Salt yeah. Lake City. I have like a storage unit there with like some random odds and ends, some tools and things. That's about it. The insulation job was stunning. Hmm, wonder who did that? All taped out so neat and clean. <laughs> if you've watched any of our van build series, you know that's the only thing that I did. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to touch the, the power tools. What's the height from floor in garage to bottom of bed? Hmm. I believe it's 35 and a half inches. Really? Last time I checked, yeah. You wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> The Van Build series was awesome. Oh, good. How did you two meet and how did Trent talk you into van life? Hmm. He has his own take on this. We met and we're in uh, the UP of Michigan right now. We're in Marquette, Michigan. We met on a dating app online. It's not a very cool story. I'll just throw that out there right away. Um, <laughs> it wasn't Tinder, but it's like an app similar to Tinder. Same function, basically. Um, it turns out that those apps actually work once in a while. So that's cool. And you need it Clyde's and some pastries. Okay. I'm gonna write that down. He's taking notes over here, guys. Thank you for your recommendations. Um, so we built out right after we had met, he had, or like maybe right when we first met, he had just bought, um, our old van, Tony Vanza, which was a ProMaster, but a 136 inch wheelbase, a little bit shorter. And we built it out together, but it was really for him to be able to go rock climbing on the weekends. And that's when I was like getting really into rock climbing. So we would go just on the weekends, like basically every single weekend, even when the van wasn't totally built out yet at all. And just like be freezing and go rock climbing every single weekend in Joe's Valley in Utah, like near Price, Utah, if anyone here knows where that is. Um, an amazing bouldering area. So after the van was finally built out, we decided to, we had just gotten mountain bikes and we were getting really into mountain biking. It was starting to be too hot to be rock climbing. Rock climbing is something you want to do when it's cold out. So your hands, like the rock is cold, your hands are cold. You're not like slipping with sweat as you're climbing. So we get really into biking and we did this huge mountain biking trip last summer uh, where we totally fell in love with the lifestyle. And both of us, by the end of it, we're like, we're selling this van. We're building out a new one. We got to do this full time. How can we make this happen? And the rest is history. Read this and think it's French. Je comprends bien. You don't, he doesn't understand anything. We're saying blah, blah, blah to him. <laughs> Je suis désolé, mais merci beaucoup de, for being here. We appreciate you. Thanks, Davey. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but, sorry if you already answered the strands. Uh, we fill up fresh water anywhere we can. A hose, um, some RV parks, any friends, mm -hmm. family. If viewers or followers on Instagram hit us up and say that we're in their area, sometimes we'll ask if we can go fill up there. We've yet to pay for water. Yeah, uh, it's really nice. Had to fill up in an RV park once and we offered to pay and they were like, how big is your tank? And we were like oh, 33 okay. gallons and they were like, oh, just fill it up. It's no big deal. A lot of people so. have been have met on dating apps. That Walmart dating app. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. Yeah, it is really like more of a mainstream way to meet people in this day and age. We just kind of, I still think it Chris it was McLaughlin. Weird, it worked. How much did you spend on the initial van? Pamela Vanderson was 37000 after after like taxes and licensing and fees and stuff from the dealership. Yeah. Do we still climb? No. <sighs> I don't climb anymore no i no, miss it no, so no. much i i miss succeeding at climbing i don't miss like yeah. being beat up and 
you're Having constantly in pain. Destroyed fingers. You're and constantly like pain. unevenly sore too, because all of climbing is like a specific move on a route or on a bouldering problem. So like half of your body gets this weird workout, and the other like arm or half of your body doesn't get the exact same workout. It's a very asymmetrical feeling. Um, and you're just super beat up all the time, but it's so much fun. And the climbing community is amazing. Joshua, sportsmobile vans are really sweet. They're like a step between van life and RVs that are like production quality that have really cool features. I think they're cool. Mm -hmm. If you can get like a big four wheel drive turbo diesel sportsmobile for a good price, I say go for it. Um, they usually want like over 100K to build one. So. That's ridiculous. I imagine Trent being good at climbing. He seems part spider monkey. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's really good at climbing. Thanks, prepared influencer. <laughs> um, someone said not to fill up with water from around here because the water is terrible, which I I, I knew, but I didn't even think what? about that. Why is it terrible? It's all got lead. Flint, we're, we're in Michigan. Ah, <laughs> I no. I totally didn't put that together. I mean, our filter will filter out lead but I well don't... still like the water here is notoriously really bad not in the up i don't know i don't know how interconnected all yeah, those pipes I think it's, are i think it's around detroit so much metal in it Jeez, not in marquette okay marquette is good just not yeah. flint okay i was like they're surrounded by water here there's no way they have and they have like thousands of inches of rain like, yeah okay there's no way they would have like contaminated water in Marquette or Flint is, even. Flint is where it's just on a separate system. Okay, cool. All right. That's good to know. Thank you guys for helping us out. Ever done gymnastics? I'm on my high school team. Um, I mean, I did gymnastics until fifth grade. <laughs> Fill up in Flint just to see how good your filter really <laughs> is. <laughs> Do a video on it. We start funny. growing the third <laughs> arm and stuff. <laughs> that's You're funny. very far from Flint. That's true. Yeah, we yeah. are. <laughs> Have you ever done gymnastics? Uh, I mean, I did gymnastics like when I was like five. Yeah, did like a gymnastics class that was probably like not even real gymnastics. Good night, broken hippie. Sleep well. Thanks for being here. UP is all sand too. Great natural filtration. Yeah, that makes sense. Third arm would be good for climbing <laughs> and for working on vans. <laughs> That's you funny. get fifty percent more productivity. Oh no, Rob, your Wi-Fi just failed, and you feel like you got kicked out of a party. Well, we're happy to have you back. You didn't miss anything. Don't worry. We were just talking about you the whole time, but we're done now. We're happy to have you back. And Flint. <laughs> and Flint, Michigan. <laughs> That's funny. It's nice. You'd have to replace your filter every day in Flint. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are very entertaining. It's nice for those of us who have followed you to get our grins in. Oh, good. Thanks, we James. love doing this. Appreciate that. Thank you. Eric. Eric Oaks. Wow. When are we skiing the beef and veil? Oh. January. I think, yeah, probably January or February. We're going to be coming through the Colorado ski tour. I think we're going to try and hit a couple of the. Let's do a bunch. Resorts around Vail. Do you want to do a, a group ski day? Yeah, just you, me, and Eric. Okay, that's, Eric. <laughs> we'll circle back. Let's that hang out. That would be out. fun. I totally be, dig that. That would be awesome. <laughs> Where, when are you guys going to be in Eastern Canada? Um, probably in like a week or two. Yeah. Yeah, we know Three some. Weeks. We know some people there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, so we may or may not, you know, swim. I don't know by, what's considered Eastern little... Canada. Though. We we both snowboard. P.S. We both snowboard. Men for snowboarding. Nice. Ski or snowboarding. MJS in the house. What's up? MJ Donald you, Trump. You can't be <laughs> none of Get that out of here. here. MJS. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All caps. Yeah. Um, ever been to Ren Fair? You might make a decent lord and lady or rogue and wench. Ren fairs are fun. I've never like a Renaissance fair. I've never oh, been. Oh, that sounds one. pretty funny. Yeah. You're saying I look. You look wenchy. I look. You look like a nice little wench. When is that renaissance -y? Yeah. <laughs> I look medieval. Mm -hmm. Good night, Amy. Thank you. Early hospital shift. Good luck tomorrow morning. Get some sleep. On the plus side, filters from Flint water can double as a kerosene log. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I love all these Flint water problem memes that people are coming up with. Bigfoot really Army. Insensitive of us. We're gonna have to. Yeah. No. To make a disclaimer, That's I don't true. condone these jokes about Flint. It's hard to always remember to stay so politically correct all the time, but that's true. How cold of temps can you handle in the van? Honestly, as long as the doors will still open, the van will be fine. And 
with the heater running, the van doors will probably always open because mm -hmm. the van stays pretty warm. So we just set the thermostat. It's just like your house. And yeah. as long as we have propane, we're good to go. You need good to do night, an Catherine. apple and fudge video from Michigan. What does that mean? What What's is an apple, apple and fudge? fudge? I like apples and I like fudge. Trent, are you Irish? Partially. We did the Ancestry.com DNA thing. I have a hair somewhere. I'm like English, Irish, Swedish, a little bit of French. Yeah. Which is weird. It's pretty funny. I've always been told from my family that like my mom's side is just German and my dad's side is just Sicilian. And I was really expecting to like get some interesting results back when I did the DNA scan spit test. And I was like, oh, there's going to be some Greek or some like other interesting places in there. No, 50% German, 50% Sicilian, the most boring results I could have hoped for. But it's cool to, to map out your history like that. MJS said, tell us how the ride at Big Sky went. Recently? The ride at Big Sky was awesome, man. Yeah. Um, they have really put a lot into their trails. They're, I guess the trail building company is like... Um, oh, we were just talking to Henry about this. It? Um, it starts with a T. Um, te uh, Telly... Tetra, te Terra... Tect tecta... Terraflow. Terraflow. Yeah, Yeah, Terraflow. Terraflow. Um, they got like some award for like the best mm -hmm. flow trail in the country at Whitefish. And so Big Sky had, like hired them for like $30 million to like yeah. build all their trails. And they've done a really good job. Like the flow trails that we rode were awesome. Yeah. There's a trail called Ninja Marmot, which was like huge as big as anything you're going to see at Whistler. It was really cool, but the jumps were freaking huge. Yeah like step ups that like I almost broke my legs on because I didn't make it up to the top, which was cool, but I didn't have fun on that trail. Oh, they're saying, okay, Mackinac Island fudge is the best and there's Michigan apples everywhere. Find some cider mills. You won't regret it. I'm all over that. All right. I'm going to put more stuff that on the list. Sounds awesome. We will do that. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. We should get an Epic pass this winter. Yeah. We talked it's a about a lot of it. money to fork out. It's like a couple thousand dollars for the two of us. And if we don't go like more than 10 times, like yeah. doesn't even pay for itself. So. I honestly don't know with the things that we have in mind for this winter, we'll if see. we'll go more than 10 times or even more than like seven yeah, or eight times. We've got to go to Africa. That's right. Yeah. We're, remember, we're shipping our van to Africa. To Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Chris. Thank you for go being kitty, here. See you, man. <laughs> um, the mountain biking stuff look like a good way to try to eat a tree. It yeah, is. That's why you, we wear a full face. <laughs> you can hit a tree for sure. And you can you can take a chunk out of it. You just got to ride within your limits. That's all you got to do. Uh, Bigfoot Army says we travel too much for that pass on the pass. Yeah. Pass on the yeah. ski pass. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think we'll be doing the pass. Like the Epic is cool because there's all these different resorts. We could travel to all the different resorts. Yeah. But then we like have to stay in winter for like three or four months and like make it worth the while. And mm -hmm. I don't know if like making a snowboard video. It's only twice so, a week. Yeah. For three months. Well, I think people will be like, get out of here with these videos of the blown out snow. And the mountain collective pass is the real deal. If crashing. you're traveling. Yeah. I mean, we have to, cons there's a lot to consider for sure. I mean, Epic pass is like pretty much the same thing. It's just through Vail and like all the resorts they own. So like Whistler, Mountain Vail, Collective is Big Sky, though. Park City. Right? And maybe, yeah. Um, I don't remember. Who's... No, maybe it is. I think Mountain Collective is Big Sky. Okay. Okay. Good night, Darian. <clears throat> I have to wake up early, safe travels. Look forward to your next post. Guys, our next video comes out tomorrow morning. Are you stoked? It's going to be awesome. T minus 12 hours. 12 hours. Pretty much. In 12 hours, you have another video coming oh, Wait, are way. we on Eastern time? Uh, Yes. <gasps> what are you posting in... Are you posting in Mountain Time? I don't know. I don't know. Um, thanks. Oh, you're setting my alarm. <laughs> That's cute. Don't, don't um, quote us. I don't turn know what the, time it's coming out. There's like a way be... to, if you're not already subscribed, which of course, like this video. If you're watching this video, subscribe to our channel. If you're not already subscribed, all that stuff. But there's a bell normally next to that subscribe button if you hit that bell then you get notified every time we post a video so you can like be there ready 
or just know that it's like bell. it's there waiting for you you know will we make it to moscow idaho guess what we've already made it to moscow idaho yeah we went to moscow and we were told it's not moscow it's moscow we went there for a wedding moscow idaho what a cute little town what was her name amanda and michael i don't know if amanda. we should give last names oh but never mind we went for you probably know them but we're not some gonna, friends we're wedding not gonna reveal them <laughs> subbed thanks percival <laughs> yeah if you guys aren't subbed the bell has power click sub. it sub click it or ticket guys Turn turned on, on your notifications. notifications thank you i think we can get to 300 likes i don't know only 15 away should we try it hit the notification bill y'all yeah hit the notification bell and let's see if we can get up to 300 13 likes. more likes all right let's try it let's see what can we do you can't unlike and relike. Seven it. more likes. Wow, that was fast. Oh my Two more God. likes. <laughs> That's it. Seven more. Four. That's cool. Thank you guys. <laughs> Are you dancing again? Do the yeah. dance. <laughs> that was it. Trent will break dance for 1,000 likes. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Wow. You hit it 18, I hit it 18 times. times. I don't know if it works. Nine of those way. times were unlikes. <laughs> Jay, it's so good to see you here. Thank you. I love your comments. Thank you for being a patron. You're awesome. Yeah, awesome. You made it, Jay. Aww. Good to see you, brother. Can we say hello to you in your hometown of Hammond, Hessville, Indiana? The Carmen Live. Hello. How are you? We appreciate you being here. Are we thinking of having children soon? You guys. Not not soon. We're not even thinking of getting married soon. I'm only 21, man. <laughs> oh, you wish you were only 21. <laughs> that's so, but we'll never do notifications for any channel. Yeah. Too many notifications already on okay, my phone. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's that's okay. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> that's funny. Come to Sandpoint, Idaho. It's beautiful Ooh, here. Okay. Coffee will keep you warm. I know, guys, we're out of espresso right now. It's been like I'm going to hit the really roastery hard. in the morning. Yes. But it's called Velodrome. Velodrome Frank's coffee antibiotics roasters. making him pee more than normal. It's no. a common side effect in dogs. No, it's not actually. Yeah, he's, he's been good. Actually, he's been peeing less, but I think it's because we've been cooped up in the van. He hasn't been drinking a lot. Yeah. But... Speak Spanish? No? Okay, hello. We, uh... <laughs> We liked, I love languages. I took like 10 years of French, a bunch of years of Italian, a bunch of years of Spanish. It's all about language immersion though. I don't feel like you can really learn a language until you get dropped into it and just like are forced into speaking that language. So we would love to go South and uh, immerse ourselves in some Spanish. That'd go cool. governors. Yeah. Have we gone to South America with a van? Not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, but maybe we will. Yeah, we're definitely going to go to South America. And when we come back, we'll be fluent in Spanish. Ooh, prepare to influencer. I love that. I love that so much. Ooh, who does most of the editing on your videos? I must know. Who is the mastermind behind your epic cinematic beat drops? It's Allie. So, 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 thank you. She's the musical mastermind. I appreciate that very much. But he's the film filmer, the videographer. It really is a two-man team. We couldn't do one Frank's without the paw, other. Frank's paw is doing yeah. really well. He's not licking it. It's healing up. He's using it. It's awesome. Yeah. He's doing very good. Can't share web links with you. Oh. Weird. Huh. Hurry up and age? Why? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> yes, we do plan to go to the East Coast. <laughs> I love Trent's concentrated comment reading face. You guys, for those of you who have been onto other live streams, We've talked about this briefly. You know how some girls have resting bitch face? Trent has resting murderer face. It's concentrated face. It's extremely concentrated, but if you don't know what he's doing and you, you notice it, you think he's going to kill somebody. Hashtag resting murderer face. Trent has it hardcore. Hardcore. Bryce agrees. Don't age. <laughs> funny. We're in the UP of Michigan. Pura vida. Hello from Costa Rica. Nice. That's hilarious. It's true. It's so true. You don't know if he's a genius or a serial killer. That's that's my life, guys. Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's everyone around me trying to constantly figure that out. Trent, a.k.a. Dexter. That, Norm, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks, Jill, for liking the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
so Frank, Frank is good. How is Frank? He is napping. He always naps on our live streams because we try to get him some good exercise ahead of time. Um, the beard makes him a serial killer. Yeah, I can see that. There it is. It's just like anytime you just look normal, you look like you're about to kill somebody. How do you all decide on where you want to go next? Do you have a list written out? Um, we have a loosely mm. planned agenda, and we kind of modify it if and when all possible. Yeah. And we get all of our music from epidemicsound.com. We pay us a, a monthly subscription, and they have hundreds of thousands of songs and sound effects that you can use for free once you purchase that monthly subscription. Great music. Uh, the Carmen Live, I'm going to say the Governors are going to win. Go Governors. I don't even, I don't know who they are, but <laughs> you, you're a governor and I'm going to root for you I don't, for your team. Of Governors, Homecoming. Oh, it is Homecoming time. Yeah. Georgia Peach here. What's up, Harley? We love peaches. Oh, that's true. Trent has a thing for Utah peaches. He thinks they're amazing. Nah, Georgia peaches are way better. <laughs> Do we have favorite college football teams? Can you follow them? Well, I went to Maryland, so I have some allegiance to Maryland football. And I don't really follow much other. I don't, we don't really follow, follow sports teams anymore because we're pretty caught up in traveling all the time. Does that make sense? Do you follow sports teams really? Maybe like a little NBA? I don't, I haven't like sat down and watched a football game in a long time. I'm not a real man. I don't watch sports. <laughs> I used to here and there, but I just don't. I don't have a huge interest in it. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> Marshall Robinson. That's funny. You've inspired my boyfriend and I to convert to van life. Thank oh, you. Ah, the roaming rebels. That's exciting. Oh, yeah, that's sick. Good luck, guys. That's cool. Glad to have helped you along your journey. You want to convert a van here in the Philippines? How cool would that be? To convert a van in the Philippines? That would be cool. I don't know much about the Philippines or what your roads are like or if you've got a Home Depot. <laughs> if you don't have a Home Depot, converting a van is like really <laughs> hard, I think. What are our thoughts on Thai food? Extreme we love Thai yes. Food. Extreme yes. We love Thai food. We Indian try to make food. it, but we're just white oh. bread. So it doesn't work out that great. It's just never as well flavored and spicy as it is when we go to like our friends' houses or authentic restaurants. Christopher Nagai, and we hope you are having a good day too. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> uh Trent needs to go. likes hero. the WNBA because they have good fundamentals. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, the radiant the red radiant locks. red locks. Thanks, Sean. Lovely. <laughs> They're radiant, that's for sure. That is funny. Love you guys. X Y Z A Cupid, we love you back. Thank you. This is fun, guys. Guyan is pronounced when. Really? I've Thank been you. Doing it wrong my Christy. whole life. I didn't know that. That's cool. I can't believe Home Depot hasn't sponsored a van lifer yet. Yeah. I know. You're right. We spent so much money there. They should sponsor us. <laughs> How do we know you're not in the CIA? Well, you know I'm not because I'm a terrible actor. I couldn't keep a straight face if my life defended, depended on it. But yeah, he could definitely be doing some some espionage. I'm an Oilers fan, Houston, so I'm in fandom limbo. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's some inner football joke that I don't understand. <laughs> Eric. Eric. Thank you again. Oh, when man. Are we skiing the $20 beef vale? mic drop. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank first you of for all, the super chat, man. When are we skiing the beef and veil? Vale? Are you following us on Instagram? First of all, everybody that's here right now, we post daily on Instagram every day, multiple times a day. Daily latte art. A lot of things. Hello. Jump over to Instagram, follow us at Trent and Allie, all spelled out. Uh, there's like so much content over there on our stories every day. Um, but Eric, find us on Instagram and send us a DM. Let's figure something out. Yeah, Eric, are you a Valley local? Bryce wants to know. Yeah. What oh, bank thanks, did Melissa. you rob? <laughs> <laughs> Love you on Instagram. Thank you. What bank did we rob? Is that what you just read? That's funny. 
Golden Mountain seasoning Wait, sauce for Wait, can Thai. we say happy 100-year anniversary to First Christian Church of Hessville in Hammond, Indiana? Happy 100-year anniversary. Happy 100 anniversary. Gotta go. Have a great night. Bigfoot Army, take care. Thanks for being here. Peace out, Bigfoot. Appreciate you. That's funny. Bye, Nomadic he Frog. Thanks too much. Talk to you later. <laughs> See you later. Oh, thank you. You guys are so generous. Always like offering for us to come stay or fill up water or do laundry. Such a it's such really a nice gen to have a nice community. Yeah, genuine and generous community. Because as weird as it seems, we don't have neighbors yeah. or a neighborhood or yeah. a community. And it's like really our neighbors and our community and the people that are nice are everywhere, but they're like. They're hidden. It's you cool. don't see them. We, yeah. gotta, we have like meet people through Instagram or through YouTube. And like, those are, you guys are, you guys are our community. You're our neighbors. It's basically. Awesome. Yeah. We love it. That's cool. Jay, what's a super chat? A super chat is a comment on this live stream with money attached to it. Oh. So under the say something chat, I think there's like a money sign. You can like add a monetary amount to your comment and then it pops up um, and, and grabs our attention. Good night, Nico. Dan. I'm glad you enjoyed the live stream. Have a good night. Hey, yo, Nico. Uh, we empty the garbage like every <laughs> three or four days, yeah. I would say. When it's full. It doesn't stink. It has a lid. Compost toilet. Full functionality. Review. When? Aaron? Um, uh, I don't know when. I don't know. But I, I want to wait until like at least in the middle of winter before I can say... It's amazing because, like, what yeah. if the what if the solids container freezes? <laughs> That's right? gross. <laughs> I want to know. I want to see. You know what happens. But um, so far, like five stars, ten Absolutely out of ten. Amazing. Love it. Changed my life. Better than a real toilet. Amazing. Amazing. Whoa, Believe Jay. Jay, you found the super Jay. chat. What's up? What's up? Thank you, Sloven, my man. <laughs> the ten dollars super chat. That's so good. Just Thanks, found Jay. it. You're the man, Jay. <laughs> That's awesome. You are the man. Um, someone asked about Frank and if he sheds a lot. Yes, he sheds yep. uncontrollably. A lot. A lot. A lot. So we brush him constantly. A ton. And we and we sweep out the van and we shake out our bedspread. And um, he's allowed on all of the furniture, much to my chagrin. But that's just the way things go living in a van. So we just, it, he forces us to like keep things clean. So that's cool. Do we get fruit flies? No, we don't get fruit flies. No, if we, we did, I would freak out. Yeah. There would be no fruit <laughs> we're, flies. We're after both that. like pretty clean people. <laughs> My You're... husband said I would have to empty when we go no bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, if that's what you got to do to get your husband to go nomadic, small price to pay. Oh, Kevin, we're, we're on Facebook, but not really. We don't really use Facebook. We're mostly just on Instagram, but that's okay. We appreciate you following us on YouTube. Thanks, if you don't VBN have an 79. Instagram. Oh, nice chatting with you tonight. Good night. Life is a beautiful ride. Um, yeah, we just like don't really use Facebook. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, we have it. I tried to change the name from TNT MTB to Trent Alley and they like rejected me. You know, what we do use is Patreon. You could even um, do like a $1 a month subscription and you still get like a bunch of free behind the scenes stuff. There's like extended cuts, Patreon only videos, swag, stickers. That's that's a spot where we do. Or we have like five and $10 and you get extended cuts for five bucks yeah. of our regular videos and then patreon only videos for yeah. 10 bucks yeah whoa like, film zealot yo films a lot wow my contribution to frank's meds oh happy thank he's you. on the upswing thank you thank you thank you thank you man vet bills are expensive the but it was <clears throat> the vet was a lot of money yeah. and it's kind of it makes you upset because you go there and they're like, hey, give us all this money. Okay, your pet's fine. Go home. And you're like, but really, like, the, like, the peace sucks. of mind and just knowing nice. that like all all checks have been checked, like Frank is good. It yeah. really, I think that was important. And like the peeing thing was obviously questionable, but yeah. like his foot, I was really worried about his yeah. foot. So I'm glad yeah. we went. So that's good. But thank you. That thanks really for, that thanks does for helping help. us chip away <laughs> at the vet bill. Shailene, we're happy to see you here. Head in the bed. <laughs> had fun. Can't wait for your video tomorrow. Good night. Good night. We'll talk to you soon. See you, Shailene. Thank you.
do we have pet insurance negative? We do not have pet insurance. Um, just not, hasn't crossed our minds. No pet insurance. Really. Yeah. This chat fun. Percival, you're awesome. Thank you. What time is it where we are? We are in Marquette, Michigan on the upper peninsula. It is nine 55. <clears throat> we have probably just like a, a few more minutes with you guys. So if you have any burning questions, throw them into the chat now. I received my curls rock. Used your link. No way. Kathleen, that is awesome. I hope it worked for you. I hope that video was helpful. Um, it was, it was a weird one for me to film because I've just never like talked about that before, but I'm glad, I'm glad it was useful for you. What about the booster board, Richard Foxworth? Mm. Trent loves that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. Do you guys know what a boosted board is? Do you want to explain to them? It's just a long board that has Are you yawning? a room. Yeah, it's, um, it's late. Are you tired <laughs> right tired. now? <laughs> It's a it's a long board that has a remote control car built into it and you drive it. So it's like a it's an electric long board. It's really fun. It's an electric long board. And Trent's argument convincing me to get one was so that he could go to the grocery store on it when I was in meetings in the van and we couldn't be driving around, which is a ludicrous argument, I now realize. But he loves it, so I'm happy for him. I see you, Leslie Strauss. Hey, how you be? How long did it take you to get van number one? Hmm. Jay, I bought both of our vans from the dealership. So like, as soon as I was like, there's a van I'm going to go look at. It's obviously brand new from the dealership. So I just would go and buy them. I don't, I'm more of a, I'm more of a jump on it and get started kind of guy than like a wait until I get mm -hmm. the best deal kind of guy. How do you carry groceries while on a boosted board? Exactly. Um, in your non remote control hand <laughs> in a bag, maybe a backpack. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. Sid likes that argument. That's funny. I'm buying that. <laughs> Do I ride it? I've, I've ridden it. I'm terrible at it. Yeah, I was just scared of it. I, yeah, I'm not very good. He really wanted me to get one so that we could ride together, but I, I'm not good at it. So it would take a lot of practice. Carefully. That's how I ride it. Yes, carefully. That's funny. <laughs> we need to get pet insurance because when we get our puppy, we thought he was fine. And then we had to pay $3,000. But with insurance, we would have only had to pay 500 Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's something we'll, we should look into. I don't know. Yeah. Koob says I could push a grocery cart with the boosted board. <laughs> that would be awesome. Maybe I could pull it. It would probably be safer to pull it. That's funny. Oh, man. Have we heard of Fire Pro Wrestling? No. In Indiana. The best wrestling show in Lake County, Indiana. We haven't heard of it. Um, but maybe if we ever swing through Indiana, we'll go check it out. Any future changes to the inside of your van? Uh, we may turn Kathleen, we may turn funny. the hanging wardrobe <laughs> and into just Trent's clothes and put some shelves in there. Hmm. That was hmm. Allie's idea. So the issue is right now our upper cabinets for where our clothes are are just a little bit small. And then we have this hanging wardrobe behind me that... Trent has 90% of the clothes in there. I just like don't, I have way fewer See you later, clothes. Eric. Thanks for the super chats, man. Eric, thank you. Good night. We'll talk to you soon. Um, I don't have as many clothes as Trent, first of all, to be very clear about that. He loves clothes. And second of all, he's taking over all of the clothes storage in the van. So I feel like we just need to like separate and have my space and his space so he can't like creep over into my side of Such things. Because that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happening it's not true get a one wheel that would be fun he wants a one wheel one wheels are hard yeah they're, they're super way hard. harder to ride than a boosted board trent is such a fashionista i know like oh my gosh that's funny <laughs> gender role reversal <laughs> who owns more shoes uh, i think it's probably the same we, we each have like Allie. four or five i think i have five shoes in the van yeah I live in Marquette oh, and the nice. UP rocks. Bobby, that's sweet. Bobby, it is really cool up here. We're having a great time. Yeah, this is awesome. 
Matt. Yo, Matt with the $20 super chat. Wow. Love the videos. Keep them coming. Sending Bozeman. support from Bozeman. What's up? Heck yeah. I you got Big Bozeman. Sky. You you should love it there. Yeah. It's awesome. Do you, do you ride Big Sky or Bridger if you ski? I'm a big Bridger fan. But everybody, like, Big Sky is just such an icon now that, like, we always end up filming there and going there. <laughs> Dang it, Trent. Cube is pronounced cube. <laughs> it's an ambigram. That's good. <laughs> I've been pronouncing it quub. <laughs> quub has been the pronunciation of your name every time you comment. <laughs> like, hey, babe, cube, quub said this. <laughs> it makes sense that it would be cube. That is funny. Bridget for show. That's what's up. Matt knows. Matt knows. I don't uh, think you've ever ridden Bridger. Virilia SS, how much was overall cost of the van and conversion? We have a video on that. Yeah. The van was 37000 and the conversion was 15000 and together they're 52000 Bratatouille. Bratatouille. I, I see you. That's funny. Thanks. $5 super chat. For the Insta follow. Really dig the content. Currently trying to get into van life yourself. Fingers crossed. Do it, brother. You will not regret it. It's so fun. You're going to love it. Hello from Chicago. Hey, What's up, Katrina. Katrina. Do you think the UP should separate from Lower Michigan? I'm just, I just want to know why it's not part of Wisconsin. Aren't we like technically north of Wisconsin right now? Yeah. Why is this not just all Wisconsin? I feel like it was acquired first or something. I feel it's like, just like it's so random. I feel like me. that was like a border that was determined when Wisconsin was belonged to the Indians or something. I, I don't, I, you're just pulling things out of thin air right I'm now. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah for I'm sure. Definitely assuming. Oh, strangely strangely us, us. Frank Pet Insurance Investment. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for the Thank $15 you. super chat. <laughs> you guys are killing it. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Matt Shelp says it was the, the Toledo, Toledo War. War. Yeah, Is that why they say Holy Toledo? Probably not. No. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Oh, Blue Healer. Who is attached? So blue healers, yes, notoriously pick one person. I think this is an interesting question because I don't think Frank has really picked one person, but I think he interacts with each of us very differently. So he he reacts with Trent very like wrestly, aggressive, like fake gnaws on his hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's very nuzzly and snuggly with me. I don't, it's true. I don't know if he like prefers one over the other. He just Different like interacts differently with us. Yeah. Yeah. He listens to me better. Yeah. Have we been to Van Gogh's in Marquette? No. Hi, bye. Take care. Thank you, a fringe dweller. What's uh Van Gogh's in Marquette, Bobby? Oh, this is cool. Nice. Have we been hiking in North Carolina? No, but we're going to Asheville over Thanksgiving. I'm really excited about it. I'm not getting your results, but it's less frizzy. Kaylee, I'm I'm happy to hear that it's maybe working somewhat. I know curly hair girls got to stick together. Anything helps. <laughs> Everything helps. <laughs> How do you shave Trent kitchen sink shower, or do you do it in the bush with a buck knife? In the bush. <laughs> I do it in the gutter, man. He just has a electric trimmer. I just use a trimmer, and I use like the mirror on the side of the van. I shave outside. Yeah, and there's no. His hair gets freaking everywhere and then you get hair slivers and like nobody got time for that yeah oh Va a very Van good, restaurant. Is a good restaurant all right we'll put it on the list okay we got a we got a long list going judy abernathy judy that's so good to see 1999 you super thank chat you. thank you love you guys that's awesome and jade jade to be wow. db $10 super chat. Good, Good night, guys. Keep up the awesome work. We appreciate the positivity and the community that you both are helping to build. Jay, it's good to see you here. Thank, Thank you. you, Jay. Thank we really you so appreciate much. that, man. That's awesome. And Judy. You guys both are great. Both of you guys rock. Wow. Thank you so much. Very generous. Really appreciate that. Read any good books lately? No. No, but we're open to suggestions. We're on like a, a lot of podcast kicks right now because we're, you know, doing a lot of driving. And Peace, Jay. Good night. Good night, guys. Um, if you have good podcast recommendations, we're always open. But books, too. Or even books on tape. We could do that while we're driving. Do Definitely. we ever do meet and greets? We haven't, like, organized our own meet and greet yet. 
Yeah, I feel like our channel is um, like pretty small to do something like that because we might get a couple people that follow yeah. us in any given area, but we may uh, we may be whipping something up in the future. Yeah, we could potentially hook something up in Canada. I don't know. Do a live IG feed? We've never done a live. Never done Anything. a live Instagram. Yeah. Maybe when we're driving one of these times, we will. I feel like that would be scary because I would be afraid of the Wi-Fi cutting out. Yeah. But we could try it. Alaska. When are we going to Franklin. Alaska? That's a that's a great question. Uh, soon, I hope. Probably not until next summer at the earliest, but I would love to do Alaska. Jesse Cohen, I am not. I don't ride downhill bikes, man. If I was going to get a downhill bike, I would get a Santa Cruz V10, and I know it's not the best bang for your buck, but <laughs> it's just, they're awesome. Oh, small but mighty channel, like a diamond. Thank you, Prepared Influencer. Thanks, That's really man. sweet. <laughs> good night, guys. Love hanging with you both. Keep up the good work. We must hang. Yeah, let's hang, Kevin. Thanks for being here. Have a Mama good night. Mama four, we are in Marquette currently. Marquette, Michigan. Michiganders. Uh oh, in Asheville, there's an Overlander Expo. Oh, in November. Oh, we'll maybe be... we'll be there. We'll be in that area for we'll sure. We'll look that up because that's we're gonna be in Asheville for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so maybe cool. we'll maybe we'll hit that up. Red Rising Trilogy. Thanks, Kathleen. These are great recommendations. Books on tape. Nice. You're in Flint, Michigan, Mama Four. <laughs> You're close by. That's cool. Watching from Japan, Mori Mari. Using Google Translation. That is awesome. Always looking forward to your videos. That is so cool. Our next video drops tomorrow morning. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications of every new video. Go meet Seth from Seth's Bike Hacks. I, I am trying. We're working on I'm it. He's busy. I'm trying to meet up with Seth and it's hard to get in contact with him because yeah. he's like a massive channel. I'd love to ride with him or meet up with him and just say, Hey, but we're don't know how it. to go about it. So if any of you guys are friends with him, let him know. Trent now he's trying to hang. Well, he's, he's busy. I'm sure he's don't, got things don't, going don't, on. Don't put that out in the universe. Don't put that out there. He's, he's waiting he's to collaborate just waiting with waiting for us. He's just waiting for an email from Trent Nally. I check YouTube every morning to see if YouTube posted Aww. a new video. Totally addicted. So we Thanks, recently, Aaron. um, kind of started, a more consistent posting schedule. We hope that this is more helpful for you guys. It's definitely nice to make us be a little bit more accountable. So now Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday is when we post. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. So for the past few weeks, that's been kind of our schedule and we're going to continue to stick to that Monday, Wednesday, Saturday with maybe a live stream, you know, thrown into the mix like tonight. But I think it's time for us to eat dinner. Oh, I'm hungered. I'm ready. Thank you, Susie Channel, for subscribing. You guys. We're going to have to say good evening. Good night and good luck. Good night. Farewell. Bon voyage. Uh, like the video if you haven't already. That would be very helpful. Subscribe to Trent and Allie if you're not already. Uh, come find us on Instagram, you guys. We really do a lot on Instagram and would love to, to meet up with you there. We love you guys. Trent loves you. I love you. Come on, Frank. Come, Frank. Let's go. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Do you want to say goodbye? Yeah, he's, he's like trying so hard. He's tired. Oh. No, Come on, pick no. him up. Come on. Say bye, Bubba. Oh. Okay. Okay. Goodbye from Trent, Allie, and Frank. Bye, everybody. We'll we talk to you, you soon. Guys. Good night. Have a good night. <laughs> Oh.